day. Just dial 1-800-731-4558 today to save $1,600 and receive a free shower package. That's 1-800-731-4558 for a free no-obligation consultation and to save $1,600. Safe Step Walk-In Tubs. Safety never felt so good. Join the Madison Money Guy, Christian Finfrock, for Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Get the information you need as you plan for retirement. That's Retirement Income Strategies, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7. Investment advisory services offer the Retirement Income Strategies and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Ben Bruss here from Kyle, Bruss, and Nortman and tell you about the newest spike tea on the market, and that is Hoop Tea. And when I mean that it's the newest and best, it was born on the boardwalk of Ocean City, Maryland, and enjoyed now right here in Madison, Wisconsin. With flavors like an original spike tea, you have peach, you have mango, you have watermelon. Hoop Tea will make you feeling great with whatever flavor fits your profile. Hoop Tea. Enjoy the hoops on the screen and hoops in your hand. HoopTea.com. Must be 21 years or older to enjoy. As you're putting your spring calendar together, we'd love to have you join us Saturday, May 18th for Mark Osiki's sixth annual Casting for Kids Fishing Tournament to support the American Family Children's Hospital, UW Carbone Cancer Center. We're on the Madison Chain of Lakes early, then back at the Alliant Energy Center for 2.30 happy hour, dinner, and live and silent auctions with cool autographed hockey items, guided tours, and a brand new fishing boat. There's even more on our website, castingforkids.org. Help us help the kids, castingforkids.org. This is Kyle Bruston Nortman, KBN, on ESPN Wisconsin and WisconsinOnDemand.com. One, two. <clears throat> yep. When it's the end of the weekend, but not Listen, the end of the I weekend. love when it feels like a Sunday, but I love when it feels like game day because you know what game day means? Game day means it's time to play the Underdog Fantasy Sports app, and I want you to enjoy the greatness of playing the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. So here's how it works. You pick between two to five players, and you select higher or lower on those player stats. If your picks hit, you win up to 100 times your money. So I'm telling you right now, as you watch the Brewers game, as you watch the Bucks game, as you watch any of the tournament games, make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app so you can have fun and also make it more intriguing and win money up to 100 times your money. And make sure you use K promo code KBN. That is promo code KBN because Underdog Fantasy will match your first deposit up to $100. And also, they will give you a first pick, special pick that you can make when you sign up on the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. So make sure you sign up today and get in the game with the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. So you also must be 18 plus and present in the state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Get in the game with the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. 800-990-ESPN. 800-990-3776. In conversation of the Jen, Gabe, and Chewy Twitter poll, if you would take 10 years of love or a Super Bowl with Rodgers that would have been guaranteed. Chef Ed said, I'm done with Rodgers. I'll take 10 years with love. And I, I still, like, just from that standpoint, saying that out loud, like, you wouldn't take another Super Bowl for the unknown? Like, uh, what? Like, I, I, ca I can't wrap my head around that Hope one. is a powerful thing. Uh, but joining us now... Is. Hope, hope is powerful, but powerful. It's, not, it's not a good strategy. Um, and hoping Pow! that uh, Matt Hamilton and Jim Rutledge are on the show is also a bad strategy because they're never there. So we're joined by Alex Strofe and Molly Brown of 100.5 ESPN Madison, who will be subbing for Rutledge and Hamilton. What's going on, crew? Hey, fellas. How are we today? Um, and you, Benny, I just I, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hope, bad strategy. Give me the Super Bowl every day of the damn week. Yeah, Kyle, you uh, – Kyle. I almost said, Kyle, you have a brain, and then I was like, wait, Kyle doesn't have no, a brain. No, Kyle does have a I brain. I say, Strofe, you have a brain, so it's good to hear a, a passionate Packer fan take. Hold on, Benny, uh, real that quick. Isn't just be before, before you regret saying that, Kyle, we uh, are. We are. Market. Strofe. Wow. <laughs> the next time I see you, I will give you a swirly. No, he's from Wisconsin. He's just, he's just supporting Wisconsin sports. Who are yep. you, and what have you done with the Alex Strofe? Who took a picture with me when he was in high school? Or no, you were in like sixth grade. You looked up, you oh, like you God. loved me. I did. Who yeah. are you? Yeah, what, true. yeah. What's your guys' stance on that? Can you be avid Badger basketball fans and then actively root for Marquette? Uh, I mean, yes. a fraud. I'm I'm living proof of that. I think. Yeah, I think it's fine. So I, what do you just not view it as a rivalry? Hang on, hang on. Let, let me. Let we let are Marquette. Woo! <laughs> 2003. 
That's all what, I say. Well, what do you have? 2014 Final Four and oh. the ring on my finger. So wait a minute, Ooh. Final Fours? Oh, God. Yeah, you do, Benny. You right. yeah, yeah, I'm right do. here. You can't argue yeah, this one. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that old that old man was probably 12 the last time they did anything. He good. saw the no, he saw the championship back in 1977. Uh, so so <laughs> let me let me get let me get back to Alex Strofe because this this is my time to to talk to the youngster. I thought you had a backbone. I thought you were someone who understood what it was like to be a fan and stay a fan. But mm -hmm. now you're a, a fish in the sea just blowing with the wind as well? A fish in the sea blowing in the wind. That, that's a phrase that makes absolutely <laughs> zero sense if we want to dive into no, it. No, you're both. You're being a fish in the sea just going but with the stream. No, there's no and wind you're just in blowing the sea. in the wind. There's no wind in the you're, sea. You're, you're, but I'm saying you're both. You have no backbone on, on land and you're stupid fish <laughs> flying in the, in, in the water. He was, all, he was smart two minutes ago. Yeah, no doubt. No, look, I, I think I, I think the basketball in the state of Wisconsin, when it is good, everybody can cheer for everybody. Right? Like December 3rd this year, I was rooting for the Badgers. March 29th, I'm rooting for Marquette because they're the team that actually knows how to win in the NCAA tournament these days. That type of energy isn't deserved to, A, I think, like as, as Brian D. pointed out, the content director of 94.5 ESPN, like, they, they, you didn't go through 11 years of not enjoying losing in the postseason for Marquette, and now you're jumping on the bandwagon? It's just its a very loserish mindset. And Molly Brown, I'm also disappointed with you because I thought you'd have uh, some gumption, but, you know, both of you guys just uh, are filling in for uh, Religion Hamilton, just happy to be here on spring break, rooting for everyone. Everyone wins. This is classic Gen Z energy from you two. So oh, ben, wow. Ben, wow. I'm not rooting for tough. Duke. Ben. If I'm rooting for Duke, maybe we have a conversation. I'm rooting for a university in the state of Wisconsin. Sorry, Molly. Go no, ahead. no, no, you're good. Ben, hit, I'm just I'm curious, you were just talking about your Final Four ring. Uh, so if Mo if Marquette makes it to the Final Four, are you going to say, damn, that was pretty good, or are you going to hate on them for that too? No, I'm not going to hate on them if they get to the Final Four. Look, Shaka's done a great job. Look, uh, and, uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a fan of Cam Jones and what he can do with like lighting up uh, the three-point line. Kolek's kind of annoying, um, but he's really good. Oso is, is solid, but like, here's the thing. I don't like. I genuinely believe that if they beat NC State and they play Houston, I don't think they can beat Houston. And if they do, I'm not going to be like, "Oh, bad job by them." I'll be like, "They beat a team in Houston, the Elite Eight, that has been to the second weekend three straight years. They deserve this Final Four, and I'll tip my cap. That's part of it. But right now, I'm not going to act like we got Brian D wearing a Sweet Sixteen shirt around the office. <laughs> that is some That's loser energy. That is energy. embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. But <laughs> uh, Ben, let me ask you this: Are you a fan of parades? Do you like parades? Uh, unless I'm unless I'm the featured uh, guy in the float, then no. <laughs> okay, well that's that's a loser mindset. In my that's opinion, that's the least surprising response. No, I just don't I've like crowds. Been, I've been alive for two parades in the state of Wisconsin, and if Marquette is the team that makes it a third parade in the state of Wisconsin sports related parade, I'm okay with it. I would rather it be the Badgers, but hey, if they win the national championship, which I don't know that anybody besides UConn will, but if they do. I'll be at the parade. I'm going, and I think you would be there too. So, do you what? think? Do you think? You think I wow, would be that is there? A, that is a shocking. You live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You would be. <laughs> you'd be there you'll, hating. <laughs> well, no, you'd be, you'd be I, there I'll hating. Be, I'll be back at the Groover Law Office. Is one call. That's all. Studio. <laughs> no, as, as a show, we'll be there. So you'll definitely be right. No, no, no. no. You guys will be in person, and I will be running the show. And the Groover Law Office. Oh, no, you'll studios. be. You'll be saying we are too. Are That's you, are you implying Brad has no backbone then? If he would be at the parade? I know he doesn't. Be... I've known that from day one. <laughs> <laughs> now I you know. have a <laughs> I, I basically nothing, Marquette. I don't cheer for this or against exactly them. There's, there's nothing that there's, it doesn't turn me on or turn me off either way. I'm talking way. to four people with no backbone. This is a, I've got vertebrae all around me. How the turntables over the years, man. How the turntables? How the turntables. That's an office reference. Nicely done, Strofe. If you get office references and you like Gen Z, you got Religion Hamilton with Alex Strofe and Molly Brown coming up next in two <laughs> minutes on ESPN Madison. Kyle Brustin Dortmund continue live till 5 o'clock, leading you into Marquette here on 94.5 ESPN. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in two minutes. We Later, are. Folks. Marquette. Marquette. You. What they want you to hear. So it's cool. I just
hey, this is Ben Brust from Kyle Brust and Ortman on ESPN Wisconsin. People can't stop screaming about the screaming Sicilian frozen pizza, and no wonder, there's plenty to scream about, like the buttery stone-fired crust, secret recipe tomato sauce, mounds of whole milk mozzarella, and tons of premium toppings. Find Screamin' Sicilian in your local grocer's freezer and find out for yourself why sports called Screamin' Sicilian's Holy Pepperoni Frozen Pizza, the best of the best. Screamin' Sicilian, taste what all the screaming is about. Hi, this is Dave Kane. You're listening to Madison's Home of the Bucks, a good karma brand radio station, 100.5 ESPN WTLX, Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good afternoon, Madison. I'm Ryan Wollersheim, and this is your Sports Center update brought to you by ESPN Madison on YouTube. Subscribe to watch all your favorite daily shows. Mr. Irrelevant with Alex Strofe, exclusively streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and special featured content. Subscribe to watch ESPN Madison on YouTube. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Brewers as they get their first opening day road win since 2018. Brewers taking down the Mets in the Big Apple 3-1. to It was a great day for the top of the lineup as Christian Yelich goes 3-4, for four, including a solo home run that got the Brewers on the board in the second inning. And 19-year-old phenom Jackson Churio picking up his first hit and an RBI in his big league debut. Starting pitcher Freddie Peralta, six innings pitched, one hit, one earned run, eight Ks for the Brewers' new ace this season. Brewers going to be back at it against the Mets tomorrow from Queens, 12 p.m. Central Time for that one. Meanwhile, Milwaukee Bucks hitting a rough skid as they've lost now two in a row, falling 107-100 the Pelicans last night. They'll be back at it tomorrow as they take on the Atlanta Hawks out on the East Coast. That game is at 6.30 right here on 1.5 ESPN, Madison's home of the Bucks. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. You got the show. The show. The show. The show. Everybody's ego takes a shot on this show. This is Rutledge and Hamilton with Jim Rutledge and Matt Hamilton. People like me. That's some booty, Jim. Presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Everyone is so mean to me. I am Jim Rutledge. You never go full Rutledge. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, hey, I'm not a Chief fan anymore. I'm no. back with the Bears no, 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 because no. Justin Fields has it figured out. There is not a lot of things more satisfying than... X, go and give me it to you. Woo, woo. Tell me is that, you have... Does that sound better? Does that sound better than woof, woof? I hope ain't a strategy, Jimmy. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, they are filling up two hands Broadcasting right now. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio with downtown Molly Brown. Here's... No idea. Irrelevant. Oh my God, they let us back on the air! What? We bet. We've been advised not to talk about feet. Have we, we though? We can continue <laughs> the conversation. I don't have a leash. I'm like, got- D- I'm like DMX. Woo, woo. Woo, don't woo. got a leash. We, we, I got quite a few tweets and comments and texts over the course of the last 24 hours regarding we, yesterday's show. We did get removed from YouTube. We did, but I don't think that was actually our fault. I, I believe that was the music choice, but that's neither here nor there. It is Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light with you on your Friday leading you into the weekend. She's Molly Brand. I'm Alex Strofe with you from the Everlight Solar Studio in downtown Madison. We are presented by Coors Light when the mountain are, mountains are blue. You know what to do. That's Crush Coors Light. Prime time, Ryan Wollershine, as always, running the show for us today. What's up, Wally? How are you? Feeling better than yesterday about 6.25 p.m.? I've settled in a little bit more. The After After Dark session yesterday had me had me reconsidering some things when I went home <laughs> last night, but um, it's okay. I've collected myself. The good. Brewers got to win an opening day. Mm-hmm. Feeling good, guys. It's a good day. It's a good way to work into the weekend. Yeah, so a couple stats for you, Ryan. Brewers are still able to win 162 games. That's correct, right? Take that for data. That is correct. Christian Yelich is on pace for a 162-game hitting streak. That would be true as well. So is Jackson Churio. Uh, that's true. That's oh. true as well. Um, Yelich also on pace for a 162 home run season. That is, that is. I mean, historic. Historic so, numbers for the Brewers. So I'm not a big superstition guy, that. but I am wearing my Christian Yelich jersey today. Should I wash it? Should I keep it dirty? Do I wear it every day they play? Did you get it dirty today? I mean, did I, you do anything that would make it dirty? Were you talking about feet again during the game? <laughs> I mean, is there uh, any reason to be unclean? No, outside of some of the people we work with, like some of our, our, our sales teammates and marketing teammates that 
weren't here at six o'clock last night when we had that conversation. I, I so I guess yes, I have talked about feet a little bit today because people want to know what the hell happened. Um, but but neither here nor there. Did you reference them to Molly Brown? Say that it, the feet were uh, kind of her thing. Not my thing. <laughs> Don't drag just the me down. Toes? Is that what it was? Here we go again. I'm just going to pivot as soon All as right. we start the this The guy who doesn't want to talk no, about yeah, it right. wants to talk about it. Yeah, no it. doubt about it. Okay, so we just got off uh, what we call crosstalk. It's when two shows overlap with each other, with, with Kyle Bruston Ortman, who you hear before us, here on ESPN Madison. A- and Brust continued to refer to us as Gen Z. And uh, it, while we, were, we had to get out, right? You could hear the music in the background. The segment was over, but he kept saying, if you want to stick with Gen Z, like he's this curmudgeon old man. Molly, you're 27? Yes. Okay, but the thing with that is Ben Brust, I think, is 32. Ben is older than me. Yeah, he's because 32. I watched his ass in college when I was still in high school, okay? Yeah, I know he's older than you, but he's not significantly older than you. I think he's a you. Gen Z, not me. No, I think I think you're on the border. I know I'm definitely Gen Z at 25. Ryan also definitely Gen Z at 24. How old are you? 24? 24, that's right. I thought I was like Gen X or something. You you might be... No, not Gen X. Hold, no, that's you might, 65 yeah, to yeah, 80. Yeah, that's 65. Hold you, on. Might, you might be millennial. Zoomers! I'm a Zoomer! I am a Zoomer slash Gen Z. Oh, Gen yeah, Do you Gen know what the, the word Zoomer starts with? <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Um, I, I don't. I, Brust is either a very young millennial or a very old Gen Z. He's a for sure Gen Y slash millennial. I'm going to look him up. I'm I, gonna I would just say it was a Gen Y. I would just say he's a fake tough do. guy is all. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing. Ben Brust was born in 1991. He is 32 years old. So therefore, he is a millennial slash Gen Y. But I, 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 you heard me make the office reference at the end of Crosstalk. If you're mm-hmm. not just joining us here on Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light, I said how the turntables, because Ben Bruss, now the lead host of Kyle Brust and Nortman. He, I don't know if something flipped in his brain now that he's had a child, but he likes to he likes to carry himself like he's some mature, savvy radio veteran who you know. Six months ago, wasn't having conversations with his now boss, Greg Scalza, about how he peed in bottles because he was too lazy to get up at night. What? And how he doesn't wear underwear, which is an often topic on his show. Okay. And how he plays <laughs> Call of Duty until one in the morning. I don't think like, he can do that I anymore. Just, I just think it's incredible how Ben Brust, in his own mind, thinks he's evolved into like this very smart and wise adult because he's had a child and now is the lead radio host of a show. Like, I don't know what flipped in his mind that, that makes him think he, he's very mature now. It's just incredible to me. This is the same dude that three years ago was running circles, rather squares, around the Capitol <laughs> Square here in Madison in his underwear. It, it's just incredible to me. I, 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 why does nobody hold him accountable for being the least mature person coming from me on the ESPN Wisconsin Airwaves? I, it's just very rich to me. That is all. You feel better? I think so. Do you not agree with me though? You not see where I'm coming from here? I, I, because, because he just got, he took the show to break by going. Well, if you want to listen to Gen Z, you can listen to Strofe and Molly. But if you want to listen to the real adults in the room, pinky up, you're gonna stick with us on Kyle Bruston Nortman. But for is it, another isn't he the hour. only one? Isn't he the only one in his little thing? Because. Don't Kyle and Brad feel the same way that we do about Marquette? Because this whole thing happened because of Marquette. Because yeah. we're cheering for Marquette rather than being like, quote unquote, loyal Badger fans. Yeah. I, well, it started there. But I, yeah, I don't think it was a backboneless thing. He just made it sound like we're young and immature. And I didn't like that very much. At least Coming we're young. from him, of all people. I'd rather be young than old and immature like him. <laughs> well, he's not old. He's only got five years on you, Mom. Compared to us, he is. He's in a completely different generation Fair than enough. we are. Fair enough. Your way in to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light, is on the ESPN Madison Talk and Text Line. The number for that, write it down if you're not driving, 844-770-3776, 844-770-ESPN. A couple of texts rolling in on my little rant there. Mike from Sock Prairie, actually, on my jersey, my Yelich jersey. You should wear it every game until they lose at least. I can do that for you, Mike. I'll keep you posted on Twitter at Alex underscore Strofe throughout the weekend. The Adam and Madison chimes in and says, it's called self-confidence, Strofe. Try it, nerd. JK, love you, buddy. Uh, thank you. You and Ben are wearing the same thing today, too, Did, and we didn't even get to talk about that. Yeah, he's wearing a, his Wade Miley jersey. Um, 
I don't think I lack in the self-confidence department. If there's one department I don't lack in, it's probably the self-confidence department. Adam. Accurate. Yeah. My ego is a little large. Ryan, would you agree with that? Everybody's ego takes a shot on this show. The fact that yeah. you're able to fit through the studio doors with a head as big as yours, <laughs> absolutely insane. No, the self-confidence and the ego at all times high, the self-awareness all time low. That's what we know about show. No, That's his Madden rating. No, my, my self-awareness is All right, will be the show rating, we should say. Yeah, baseball true. season. True, baseball season. My self-awareness is okay. I, mm. know, I know I'm a dork. Um, but maybe... Uh, Molly? I often say self awareness. I think what you said is accurate. I agree with Ryan. I often say self awareness is the most important human quality. Absolutely. Then why don't you have any? I feel like I have <laughs> some. What, what am I not self aware about? About how you were going on about being a Gen Zer and not realizing what Molly said. This was just about him getting mad because you're rooting for Marquette in the tournament. Because he's a former Badger and he's trying to get well, at you. I, yeah, that's fine. But but don't make it an age thing. <laughs> that's what we do on this show like every day. This is the most like age of show. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not know where you are? Your self-awareness. See, Trump? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, Brewers get a win over the New York Mets on opening day. And I feel like this is a, one of the few days of the year everybody cares about baseball. Yeah, even I was in the our conference room watching the TV with the Brewers game on. It's because it's cause this day and, like, these first couple weeks just give me the warm and fuzzies of, like, summer is here mm -hmm. when you're in the dog days of winter basically still when it's still 35 degrees out and you're just like you're seeing the sun on tv even though they're in new york so it's probably cold there too but like oh i just love that feeling of being like summer's here i'm gonna get a hot dog at a game get some nachos get a beer like mm. love that vibe yeah that does sound does sound terrific the uh, smell of sunscreen jb from the v chimes in is molly calling people that are 32 old, 32 years old no, because I'm very close to being 32 years old. Okay. I'm calling myself old. He said you can go lick toes if that's the case. Hey. Hey now. It's the weekend. You never know what will happen. Hey, my husband's 39. And I like his toes. Okay. <laughs> so it is an age thing for you. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the older toes, the toes, the better. <laughs> those toes don't need to, be, need to be able to walk in the Oval Office in order for Molly Brown. <laughs> Brewers went 3-1 on opening day, by the way, at the New York Mets. And there was almost a fight. Well, yeah, there sure was. That was the best part of the game. So Reese Hoskins, slide, the new first baseman for the Brewers, slides into second base uh, and takes out uh, the man wearing the douchiest sunglasses on planet Earth, Jeff McNeil, the second baseman for the Mets. Uh, Jeff didn't like that very much. He started yelling many expletives in the direction of Reese Hoskins, who was called out. Hoskins goes back to the dugout, makes the crybaby gesture in his direction. Uh, if, you ha if you didn't see it, you can see that on Twitter, at ESPN Madison. And I, I, I don't know, I kind of love the fire. Like this Brewers team, not projected to be terrific by any means, like they're viewed, I think, as a mediocre squad. Some a team probably somewhere between seventy-five and ninety wins this year could be a playoff team, could not be. But they've got a lot of young players, and Reese Hoskins obviously new, coming from the Phillies, missed all of last season with an injury, but was a thirty home run guy a year prior uh, with the Phillies. Comes to Milwaukee to be their new starting first baseman in his very first game with the Brewers, slides in to second base. Uh, we had the debate brewing in the conference room whether or not it was a dirty slide by Reese Hoskins. You got wild. I did. Yeah. I was, I was yelling. Yeah, you're right. If we were at, like, if you were at home, you would have been throwing the remote at the TV. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you did you think it was a dirty yes. slide by Reese? You do. It was. Okay. It looked like he wasn't even going for the plate. If you look at us on the ESPN Madison YouTube stream right now, guys, you can clearly see that he wasn't even close to sliding in a second. Jeff McNeil is just way off the bag. That's all it was. Well, this is a different play. No, that's fine. So that, that's Jeff McNeil sliding. Sure, it's the propaganda. We need to bury. <laughs> don't, don't, don't question but the you, authenticity you, but of this photo. We're talking about the Reese Hoskins play. Yes, exactly. So what are you showing us? Yeah, this is Jeff McNeil stream? sliding. No, so this is the guy, guy that, that got slidden into. Yeah, he was the one crying. So the tweet says from Brewpack on YT uh, on Twitter at Brewpack on YT. That's confusing. This guy is crying about a dirty slide. It's a picture of Jeff McNeil sliding into an, an Atlanta so, Braves player. When that is clearly a dirty slide, he's not even near the bag. Um, so so what Ryan, Ryan, are you is defending? To do is he's defending Reese Hoskins. Yes. Why are you defending him? Why don't you show the Brewers? How about you show the? I know I understand, but how come you don't show the other? 
Because propaganda, Molly. We're Brewers fans. What are we talking about? Yeah, it's opening doing? day. We're let's at all-time high. I, I, I love the fire. I, it was it dirty? Sure. But I don't really care. It was care. dirty. It I was definitely I don't really dirty care. Um, now, it turns out Ryan, being the great producer he is, he doesn't get enough credit around here. Ryan, a great producer, terrific at digging up past instances, found out that Reese Hoskins actually has long-standing beef with the New York Mets. Five years ago, back in 2019, Mets reliever Jacob Rahm threw two pitches near Hoskins' head during a four-pitch walk, and Hoskins uh, launched a home run off Rahm the next day and celebrated it in a 34-second trot around the diamond. So... He caused a little bit of a scuffle. It was the first benches clearing moment of the 2024 MLB season. And I would love to hear from you whether or not you thought it was dirty, if you like the fire, what, what your expectations are for the Brewers and Reese Hoskins this year. You can get in on that, 844-770-3776. Again, 844-770-3776 is your way in. So Reese Hoskins, you say dirty, Ryan, you say dirty? It was a dirty slide, yes. But do you like seeing stuff like that? I, I kind of love seeing the fire out of the Milwaukee Brewers, who, um, i got to be honest with you, I wasn't very high on entering today. I'll say this. I'll kind of hedge my opinion here. I don't love the play. I don't love the slide there from Reese Hoskins, though I do love the fire he showed. I love the fact that back in, what was it you mentioned, it was uh, 2019 when he was with the Phillies. Yeah. It took him 34 seconds to trot around the bases. <laughs> that's that's I a nice do, trot. Yeah. I like that mentality. That's like Pat Bev-esque mentality. Mm. But, yeah, do I like that he did it? No. But do I like that he was willing to start some stuff? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I liked it. Too. It made baseball exciting. Sure did. Sure for did. somebody that's not into it, like I said, I only like it for the warm, warm and cozies. I was like, fight. Let's go. The fight. Warm, the warm and cozies. <laughs> so Brewers win 3-1 on opening day. They're back at it tomorrow against the New York Mets. Next Tuesday, the home opener for the Brewers. They play host to the Border battle. Uh, Minnesota Twins coming to town for the home opening series next Tuesday. ESPN Madison will be there. Jim Rutledge will be there, which means we will not have a show. However, we will have some specialty programming around that on Tuesday uh, for the home opener. Is but Jim turning into Matt? season is here. Yeah, a little bit. Hey now. It's like Matt can do it, so so can I. Not to the same level. I, I, I wouldn't put Jim on the mat level, but is, Jim, Jim might be on the Tausch level, yeah. Is Jim going to be curling in the parking lot of Ampham Field? <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to put down a sheet of ice? It, it is supposed to rain. <laughs> that could make it really fun. Cold yeah, enough that, to be freezing? Uh, no. Not quite. No, like like 42. 40 something, yeah. 40 just something on Cold Tuesday. enough to be disgusting is what it is. Yeah, pretty much. And, uh, it usually do, is for around this time of year, though, up in Milwaukee. And you don't mm. pay for your parking now? You just... Uh, you just you just drive right in and pay it later or pay it prior? Well, you still pay. No, you I was going to say, there's no way that they're not well, paying they, for they, So they implemented robots, I guess, that, <laughs> that like, I'm not joking. You what? laugh. I'm not kidding. Well, it's true. They roll but, around the parking lot and scan your license plate. And if you, if you don't have... No freaking way. That's how they're doing for, it? If, yeah, if you hadn't paid for parking under your license plate, they will then, like, notify somebody to come write you a ticket or... You know, give you something. I don't know how they're doing. Can they bring out Coors Lights too to the parking lot? The tailgates? Some hot dogs? I think, I think yeah, there we go. Out. I think you got to bring those yourself. What uh, if, wait, I, I know this is like going to get into it, but like, what if I bought my parking ahead of time with my one car license plate, and then all of a sudden yeah. I'm like, crap, my car needs a new tire, and I can't drive there in I, that I car. I would imagine then what? you can edit it. Hmm. I would guess. I, I don't know. There Seems hasn't sketchy. been a home game yet. We'll find out together on, on Tuesday. So. This makes me nervous for like my older in laws that are like going to the game. Oh yeah, the, the so olds. Uh, you see, here we go. We'll get to the ages <laughs> part of the show now. The olds are gonna struggle with this. But no, oh, like really, it, it, like I am very scared. I got them some brewer tickets for later on in the season. How old are your in laws? So it's funny. They're actually younger than my parents, but my parents go to so many sporting events that so, like my parents are totally fine with like smartphones and they understand sure. it all. But they don't go to enough things to understand how it works. So like before they go, I have to like double check to make sure they know how to get into their tickets they know because even the tickets it can be confusing for like people that aren't great with technology so i'm showing them i'm like okay here's the app here's where you click this is this this is this so now like with this whole parking fiasco i'm getting more nervous for them and i can't go to the game with them so it's like figure it out they'll, they'll be fine i don't know they on facebook they're on facebook but here's the well i don't we can talk and break no no no, no wait is it okay well, yeah you're right Apparently, we need to hold off on that. I just can't wait for Wednesday show after Jim Rutledge no, experiences I'll, I'll, this. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. <laughs> oh. my, my, my in-law, 
he shares things that I don't think he realizes he's sharing on his page. Hey now. Porn? No! <laughs> Close. <laughs> okay. So risque content. Very risque. Have you brought and this I, up to I've, him? Sh- I've showed my husband, and I'm like, look what your dad just shared on his Facebook. And he's like, why is he doing that? Uh, have I you- have not told my <laughs> Yeah, no. Has your husband talked to his father? Nope. He has to. <laughs> nope. You can't just let the poor guy not know he's sharing it. Uh, maybe he does know, and he's like, yeah, like they're they're hot. I'm going to yeah, share it. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Haven't happened. I'm not having that conversation, though. I'm avoiding <laughs> avoiding that conversation. You know, I, actually, I think you're playing it correctly. <laughs> I'd, I'd notify his son, in this case, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's his it's his deal to fix. Do with it what you want. It, right. It's, it's not your problem. <laughs> it's just... I would understand if you felt uncomfortable around him watching like a movie per se. No, I don't feel uncomfortable at all. Well, not around him, but I'm saying like if you're watching a movie and a risque scene comes on, what if he like pulls up his phone and is like, I'm going to put this on Facebook later. <laughs> hey, no. That is not, not it. No, 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 no. no. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll show you in the break. Fair enough. All right, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk a little Packers. Uh, we'll talk a little Badgers. All still coming up. Marquette playing in the Sweet 16. Tonight, that's all still ahead. We still got throwing stones. We still got minute to win it with your chance to win a gift card to North and South Seafood and Smoke Cause. All still ahead. Stick with us. She's Molly Brown. I'm Alex Strove. In for the fellas. It's Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light. And Carbon World Health. You've heard me talk about Carbon World Health and semi-glutide and hormone optimization for a while now. What are you waiting for if you haven't checked it out? And if you have checked it out, congratulations to you. You're probably seeing the results. Sign up for the six-week experience. See what Dr. Nestor Rodriguez and the whole team at Carbon World Health has to offer and see if semi-glutide, the first FDA-approved weight loss treatment, game-changing FDA-approved weight loss treatment is right for you. Or maybe it's hormone optimization. Maybe you're not having that same vigor in the day-to-day life that you've had. Maybe you're not gaining muscle like you used to. Hormone optimization could be right for you. Find out what is right for you in your fitness journey at Carbon World Health. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. The mountains are blue, and we can prove it. Follow the show on Twitter at Jim and Matt. Jim Rutledge here to talk to you about North and South Seafood and Smokehouse, the official barbecue joint of Rutledge and Hamilton and the official barbecue joint of the Rutledge household. We love going to all three of their locations, whether it's in DeForest, Madison, or in Verona. We get the same great service and food every time we go, no matter the location. Even better, when we have parties, cookouts, or anything in between, I don't have to spend all my time over the grill. Instead, I give a call to the folks at North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. So hurry into North and South Seafood and Smokehouse, the official barbecue joint of Rutledge and Hamilton and the official barbecue joint of the Rutledge household. When it comes to security for your home and family, you want a winner, and we found one when we placed our trust with J&K Security Solutions. This is Greg Gard. Kim and Jeff hit the game-winning shot for us with the Control 4 Home Technology System. Home or away from our smartphones, we can open the garage door, dim the lights, turn on the TV, as well as arm the security system. That's convenience as well as peace of mind. Let J&K Security Solutions do for your home or business like they've done for us. Call 255-5799 or online at jksecurity.com. Matt Hamilton here to tell you about my friends at Revive Restoration. Nobody plans for accidents to happen, but when they do, you can count on Revive to be professional, efficient, and detail-oriented as they make things right again. Revive Restoration. Hi, I'm Medicine Money Guy, Christian Finfrock with Retirement Income Strategies. And what sets us apart is we're an independent, family-run office. We help clients like you understand the financial world and build a portfolio that's in your best interest. To learn more, go to MadisonMoneyGuy.com. From color-changing alexandrite to shimmering zircon and everything in between at Chalmers Jewelers, you'll find high-quality, affordable, one-of-a-kind pieces. We source straight from the gem cutters and we manufacture in-house from start to finish. As the manufacturer, we believe in truth in pricing. Never pay more for quality and stunning beautiful jewelry. She's one-of-a-kind and so should her jewelry be. While others may send your jewelry dreams to someone else to make, with us, your dreams become reality with the help of our custom jewelers, with you involved the whole way. With a staff that has over 200 years of combined experience, why buy from a place that marks up jewelry made by the thousands? When you can buy direct from Chalmers for that one-of-a-kind piece that is better quality, often for less. Chalmers Jewelers in Middleton and Madison. 
If you're driving a car or truck with an expired warranty and suddenly lost your transmission or needed a full engine repair, would a $4,000 repair bill leave you stranded? I'm Danica Patrick. Don't get caught off guard with a vehicle breakdown. Choose the company I trust, Endurance. No matter the mileage, if your vehicle is less than 20 years old, Endurance offers auto protection plans for any budget. Protection on the drivetrain, electrical, transmission, AC, and more. Plus 24-7 roadside assistance and rental car reimbursement on any plan. Endurance handles everything from making the claim to paying the certified mechanic of your choice. Act now and get one full year of elite benefits, a $2,000 value free. Endurance has paid hundreds of millions in claims. Call for your fast free quote today. Call 800-686-8079. That's 800-686-8079. 800-686-8079. It's Chevy truck season, and there's no better time to do what you do best. No better time to get the job done in a Chevy Silverado with best-in-class standard torque and a Turbomax engine with a five-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty that outlasts both Ford and Ram. So kick off whatever your thing is season right, because it all starts with a Chevy truck. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Based on latest competitive data, excludes other GM vehicles, whichever comes first. See dealer for limited warranty details based on Ford and Ram. Five-year, 60,000-mile warranty on gasoline engines. Welcome back to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Also brought to you by J&K Security Solutions. When I see the connection, though I see, I don't stare, though I see, I don't stare. When I'm lost in my reflection, though I see, I don't stare. No Rutledge, no Hamilton. She's Molly Brand. I'm Alex Strove with you on Twitter at Molly Brand ESPN at Alex underscore Strove. Primetime Wollersheim running the show for us as always. Are you a fish guy? Like not not fish the band, but like actual fish. Yeah, like eating it, like going out and fishing. What are you asking? Oh, yeah, yeah. I Having guess that, a pet I guess fish? A lot with that. Um, I'm talking like fish fries, like eating fish oh, fries. Oh, hell yeah. Really? Hell yeah. I'm getting one tonight. Ooh. what? what uh, okay, so I'm not a fish person. I don't enjoy it. I haven't even been to a fish fry in Wisconsin. Like, that's just not my jam. Shut up. I'm literally going to a supper club tonight, but I'm going to get steak. I'm not going to get fish. But it's Good Friday. You got to eat fish. Don't care. Oh, I don't either. But. When... I just feel when, like when you go to a fish fry, do you, do you only right have now. one option? Like, are they like it's bluegill? That's it, no, or is it like no, no, you okay, you can get options. cod haddock. or haddock or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get a little baked potato on the side, or maybe some fries, a little coleslaw. Fries. Look, I, I I'm curious, Ryan. Can we pull it on Jim and Matt? Do you like coleslaw? Is that a weird question to ask? Um, we've asked much weirder things on Jim and Matt. <laughs> so you're okay with that? We can ask it a little later, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, that's right. You're posting the Reese Hoskins poll right now. Sorry. So like I said, I'm Do going... Do you like coleslaw? Well, so here's the thing. I'm going to a supper here's club tonight, thing. and um, one of the sides that they like will just force upon you, you know, coleslaw is like the, the side that they force on you. Yeah, Right? Sure. Like you never yeah, yeah. ask for it. It's just... It's like, when you get, it's like when you get wings. You're getting celery and carrots. Yeah. Right. Oh, I love the celery and carrots with my wings. Me as the well. best with ranch. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> but this place... Makes this almost like a like a Thai chili coleslaw. Mm. Yeah, it's got like that like Asian zing to it. Mm. Oh, it's so good. But normal kind, if it's made with Miracle Whip, ugh, I'm out. If it's sweet, bye. So what, what do we got going on tonight? A little date night? Yeah, we get a babysitter. This is only our second, really like our second date night. Well, we went to a friend's wedding in September. That was like a date weekend, I guess. Yeah, My I mom there. came back and watched. Good yep. stuff, yep. You were not there. You were at the wedding. You were not there for the date night. Okay. Um. Well, I figured that was the date. Did you guys do other stuff besides just attend the wedding? Yeah, and then we like stayed at a hotel. We got pizza. Like, you know. That's your date? Yeah, your that date was the is date. sitting in the hotel room and eating pizza together? Hell yeah. You can't do that with a baby. You could do that in your home every day of the week. Not with children. You can't just chill. You are con me constantly running bed? around. By the time you got my back to child, your hotel room, your, your kids were probably asleep. My child will not sleep in his own crib. We are not there. Oh, gotcha. It is horrendous. Oh, I'm sorry to Anyways, hear that. Anyways, so that was one date. Then a couple weeks ago, we went to a play. We were planning on going to the play because there was like a play at the high school. Okay. We were planning on going to the play and then going to dinner. The play went, I don't know, 
two hours longer than we were expecting. Oh, wow. And we left early. So we just like got fast food, went home. So we were like, great. Like tonight, my husband planned it all. It's fantastic. Good he got the him. babysitter and we're going. So I'm so excited. Oh. We haven't like gone on a dinner date See, in a long time. You're, you're being treated a little bit uh, princess style tonight. He set a up, little he's, bit. He set up the date. He got the babysitter. Frick yeah. Good for you. I know. Good for him. Who's paying for dinner? Well, what's his is mine and what's mine is his, right? Okay, you're married, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, where are you at with that? Oh, oh sorry. Never mind. Uh, no, you're okay. Um, <laughs> where, yeah. How do you feel about that with, with like dating people? Like, are you... Are, I'm so curious about that. I actually thought about this yesterday. About yeah, okay, I don't me. know why. Yeah, I, I have a long drive home. I think about a lot of things. Yeah, I understand. I thought about it. Yeah, do you, are you in the camp of like, I, like you as the guy has to pay for everything, or do you guys like do you split it with split your usually. person? Okay, we split. Yeah. Um, you know, like early on, I think I was more forward. Mm -hmm. um, but I think more as you continue to see somebody, like it just evens itself out. I would, I would agree because I feel like as the female, I'd be like, I feel bad that you're paying constantly for everything. I think in the beginning yeah. it's okay, but just sure. eventually, I feel like I'd be like, okay, like you've paid for the last like five. Yeah, minutes. and I think that's how it kind of went down, mm -hmm. and then the conversation was had, and then yeah, it's it's been good since. I think we got like four rounds of drinks the other night when we went to that concert. I think I paid for two, she paid for two. Oh God. Um, Splitting everything right down the middle. Yeah. There you go. Or maybe maybe it was a three one. So I don't remember. I I, I don't really care. It is what there it you is. Go. You know. So um, anyway. So okay. So you've got a date night tonight. You're yep. gonna have a steak at a fish fry. Yeah, because I don't like. So fish. it was just like a prime rib or just a normal steak. So okay. So I was looking at the menu twenty minutes ago. <laughs> Because I have, I have one. I'm hungry. Two. I like to look at the menu, especially when I, because like we've been there, but like I said, it's been a long time. Yeah. So, I like to look at the menu just so I'm not overwhelmed by my options. Sure. But so I saw that there's a filet mignon on the menu. Oh. Yeah, it sounded really good. Fancy. But I, from the last time that I was there, I feel like they had a prime rib that was really good too. Yeah. But prime I don't. Rib. But prime ribs always come out in like this big honking thing that you're yeah. like. I'm not big enough to eat this. Like, but you can, you can bring it home. Fair, but is is it as good? No, but you, you put can, it in the microwave. But, but, no, you don't put it in the microwave. Um, I guess you could. I just don't know how well it would. No, you should probably repurpose it. So Into a sandwich, like chop it up and then maybe fry it for a few seconds and then, and then throw it in a throw it in like a nice slice of bread. Fair, okay. That would be my and maybe like a slice of provolone on top of it. I'm making myself hungry now. <laughs> You got an extra seat at the table tonight? I know, right? <laughs> do you do you look at the menu before you go places? No, never. What? Never. You're not like overwhelmed, stressed out when the waiter's like, hey, are you ready to order? And you're like, actually, I've only looked at the first page. No, I I've learned this about myself at restaurants. I'm a very decisive dude. Okay. I think I've had one instance recently. Um, actually, Maddie was with me. Uh, we got brunch last week. And I was between two things on the menu. What, so waffles and pancakes? What? <laughs> no, it was uh, I got chilaquiles. <laughs> And what? then uh, chilaquiles, it's like, a, it's like a Mexican dish. It's with chorizo and jalapenos and, gu <laughs> and guacamole. It's and, huevos rancheros. Uh, but with, with, Isn't it? No, because there's like chips with it. It's like a nachos type dish. Um, and then, so I was between that and then I was at, uh, just like a simple breakfast sandwich, but it sounded really good. And the waitress, I asked her, who, by the way, I had the coolest waitress ever last weekend. She was probably in her mid-50s. Um, <laughs> But I, I feel like her and I could hang out. Like, I feel like she's a cool aunt. Or, I don't know, maybe like your sassy next door neighbor, a little flair to her. I liked her a lot. Okay. Anyway, cool. Uh, thanks, Ryan. And uh, so I asked her the suggestion, and she said, hey, yeah, do this. You can only get it here. You can get that anywhere. And I, and I, I, I appreciated her input. But anyway, I'm very decisive when it comes to the menu. So, no, I don't read it ahead of time, typically. Mm. I go for vibes more so than food. That's because... You don't eat very much. But local restaurants typically just have good food. It's just how it is. And I'm, you it's know? fair. I don't know. Like, I just, maybe maybe it's the excitement that I get. Like, tonight, I'm like, oh, now I'm even more excited because I'm looking at their menu. Like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. What if you this. have a bad experience? Because it feels like you're building this up there. Have you been here before? Yeah. No, we've been there before. Okay. Um, Hopefully, it's not a bad experience. But honestly, just like kind of going out is going to be just kind of nice. It's not even, not even like the food, I guess, of it. But just like the idea of now glass of wine no 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 drinks no nah, not okay. for me fair enough get crazy with the diet coke 
Oh. With a lime. With a lime. Hey wow. <laughs> there we go. Prime rib and a Diet Coke with a lime. <laughs> uh, are you hungry now, Ryan? Sorry. I think we just totally derailed from the conversation we were going to have. I need to head on over to Ruth's Chris right now. Yeah. Honestly, there you go. it's the only option. Your chance to win a Ruth's Chris gift card coming up in about 15 minutes when we play Minute That's a North and South gift card. Oh, North and South. Whoops. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> nice try. Uh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> smooth, Stro. Smooth. Yeah. Hey, I'm filling in. I'm filling in. It's all on the you sheet I gave like you. Uh, what sheet is this? Uh, you give me a lot of sheets. So uh, I, I appreciate you giving me a lot of sheets, but I don't appreciate when you give me a lot of sheet. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot on the sheet. You're yeah. trying to say? Yeah. Correct. correct. Okay. Well, yeah. there's one sheet that has all the live reads laid out and everything, and like where they should go and where we're gonna execute them. Yeah. That yeah. one's pretty basic, actually. Yeah. Well, th it's, there's a lot. Of, like we can pull down the curtain if you're if you're watching on the video stream. Like there's a lot of colors on here. I, like to I, make it easier on you, because I, I know I, you have ADHD. I do have ADHD. If you can't tell. Does that make program. it easier? No, it makes, so it, it, makes it, 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 it much more difficult. It's color coded. <laughs> but, uh, that's what so, the what Ryan was just trying to do blue. was an incredibly. That's purple. Uh, it was an incredibly that is purple. Are you smart. <laughs> All right. Well, I forgot what was in blue. <laughs> I, it was an incredibly <laughs> smart and professional transition into Jim Rutledge telling us about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I didn't pick up on it. So here's Jim Rutledge <laughs> telling you about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton. We'll be back after this. I can't think of a better way to spend a day watching some basketball at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton. I know it's not your traditional sports bar, but imagine having yourself an old-fashioned or a Coors Light at the Sizzle, Swizzle, and Swirl Happy Hour around the Horseshoe Bar talking to the bartender, Kevin. Lee comes on over, and you all talk about how your bracket is busted. Whatever the occasion, whether it's formal or informal, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton is the spot to be. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. Need more of Judgmental Jim? Subscribe to the Rutledge and Hamilton podcast, presented by Revive Restoration, wherever you get your podcasts. Greg Scalzi here for Total Athlete Performance. They're here to provide elite performance training for serious athletes in the Madison area. And there's a new Verona TAP facility open inside of the Verona Athletic Center. Summer speed, agility, and semi-private options are now available at both Verona and Windsor locations and now offering monthly subscription payment options. Plus, you can download the new Total Athlete Performance app for remote training options all year round. Visit TAPWisconsin.com That's TAPWisconsin.com Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like the Nitty Gritty in Middleton, the Village Green, Riley Tavern, and Remington's Tavern. Condon Jewelers, Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. See Diamond Jim, you can count on him to be on your side. Selection beyond compare with on site repair, so you can wear your jewelry with pride. Condon Jewelers, Condon Jewelers, the jeweler on the east side, the jeweler on your side. Hey, so have you tried fried chicken from Quick Trip? Ooh, freshly cooked, hot, and ready. And I'm talking jumbo, hand-breaded chicken tenders, boneless wings dripping with all your favorite sauces. Or how about eight pieces of fried chicken deliciousness? Perfect for your next large group meal. I mean, this is fried chicken that slays. I'm not talking about the runway. Slays appetites, fills you up. This is no ordinary chicken. and It'll make any meal extraordinary. Quick Trip, fried chicken, ready for your next meal. See you next time. Bikers need protection, not just from other drivers, but unfortunately from insurance companies too. If you've been injured in a motorcycle crash, call Groover Law Offices today. Bikers are often blamed for causing the accident because the insurance companies simply don't want to pay. At Groover Law Offices, we've been fighting for injured bikers and their families for more than 30 years. Trust us to fight for what you deserve. Groover Law Offices. One call, that's all. The area's best high school sports coverage is Zimbrick Honda's presentation of Prep Mania. And after four overtimes, we finally figure out the first wow. team in the Division I state final. 99 to 95, our score. Huh. 
Arrowhead Warhawks. Imbriconda's Prep Mania is also brought to you by Canopy Wealth Management, Pasquale's Cantina, UW Credit Union, Stoughton Trailers, the GRB Academy, and Stoughton Health. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million active members. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do, pick more or less on a two to six player stat projection and watch the winnings roll in. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of year. Prize Picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets hurt. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, prize picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Prize picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Prize picks also offers weekly promotions and special offers for the biggest moments in sports. Download the app today and use code WI for a first deposit match up to a hundred bucks. That's code WI on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to a hundred bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Welcome back to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Also brought to you by Dancing Goat Distillery of Cambridge. Friday at Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. Molly Brown, Alex Grove in for the fellas on your Friday. Lead me into the weekend. Primetime, who I think is pretty uh, just decent mood today. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? You seem a little bit irritated with me. I was irritated at the alley oop that you just absolutely fumbled <laughs> and going to break there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> was Ruth, Ruth's Chris Seiko. So fantastic. Fantastic establishment. Lee's an awesome caretaker of that place, and he's an awesome caretaker of this show. We appreciate I, I having Lee honest, from Ruth's Chris on every time. Lee from Ruth's Chris is is one of few people that can really put Rutledge in his place. He can. And I don't know if Rutledge is timid or random <laughs> because he, he loves going to Ruth's Chris. I think it's just he's like so like in awe, honestly, of Lee's voice. Lee yeah, has like great voice. an incredible commercial voice. Like, Strofe, you have great radio voice. Yeah. Lee just you. has like a great like audiobooks voice. Very well. <laughs> like I, so you, yes. would, you would listen to Lee from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse read you a book? I would let him read me the menu. Honestly, <laughs> like what Mike Miley Brown. Instead of like looking at it ahead of time, just be like, download the audio file of Lee <laughs> telling you everything that's on the menu. And just be like, this is fantastic. I can't wait till I get to it. It's fun. <laughs> Brewers win an opening day over the New York Mets. 3-1 to one, the final score. Brewers on pace for 162 and a record this year. Uh, new look Brewers, interesting, nonetheless. Uh, speaking of new looks, Packers were, were a new look team a year ago, and they'll have some new faces in the building coming up in 2024, the NFL draft coming up. Molly, you were on Mr. Relevant, my show Wednesday. Yeah, it was. Here Monday, Wednesday, Friday on ESPN Madison's YouTube page. Also find it wherever you get your podcast three times a week. No idea. Irrelevant. And we talked about the first round draft pick the Packers have. They have picked number 25 in this year's NFL draft. And I asked you something that I've been thinking about the last few days. Essentially, would you be disappointed if the Packers used their first-round pick on a specific position group or position groups that can be multiple groups that you would just like them not to address early on in the draft? I think an obvious one is quarterback, right? You don't really need the Packers drafting a quarterback in the first round this year. Yep. When uh, we assume shortly after the NFL draft next month, you will be signing Jordan Love to a contract extension. Just doesn't make a ton of sense, right? So quarterback would be the obvious one. But are there any other groups, Molly, that you're looking at and thinking, yeah, they should probably stay away from that in round one? I mean, running back. I feel like that's the next best option. I don't think drafting anybody high up is going to make sense for them. The one I know we talked about a little bit on Mr. Relevant the other day, but um, I want to see them get Cooper DeGene. From Iowa. From Iowa. Yeah, the D-back. Yes, yeah. I want – they're not – I don't think they will. I think they're going to use their first-round pick for an offensive lineman, which I wouldn't be mad about, but I just want Cooper DeGene. I don't know. He just seems fun. Um, but otherwise, I mean, they're good at tight end. If they drafted a tight end, I'd be like, what are we doing? Because um, I feel like there's still room that they could sign uh, DeGuara again, too, because he's just a free agent uh, sitting Degu- there no, right now. Jaguars. Oh, signed the other up? day, one year wow. deal. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I hadn't heard that. 
Uh, yeah, I imagine it flew under the radar for most people. Yeah, yeah, Josiah DeGuara, Josiah the Messiah, he is off to Jacksonville, mm-hmm. uh, reunited with Darnell Savage. Interesting. Um, I, I, I had a moment uh, very similar to that earlier in the week where somebody knew the news and I didn't, and I said pretty much the same thing you just said about Josiah DeGuara, so don't feel bad. Oh, I it was did, the same player, too. I, oh, that's I did funny. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Funny. I, I had no idea. So Interesting. I'm with you. Okay. Um, I don't know. Is there any other ones that you feel like, meh? Uh, yeah, I, I would say skill positions offensively. I mean, even if it's a receiver, I don't think I'd be terribly upset, but the Packers just don't do that, right? So the Packers have made 21 first-round draft picks, counting Aaron Rodgers in 2005. Since Aaron Rodgers was drafted in 2005, that was the first of 21 first-round picks since then. They have gone offense only four times in the first round. And who were those? Do you Aaron have those? Rodgers, Jordan Love, Derek Sherrod, and Brian Bulaga. Those were the only four first-round draft wow. picks since 2005 that were offense. Everything else has been defense. The other uh, 17 draft picks. So I think the other day when we were talking on Mr. Relevant, you said that there's no way that Cooper DeGene drops down to 25. I didn't say there's no way. I just said it's unlikely. It's yeah. unlikely. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine he'll go higher. So do you think there's any way that the Packers, and I'm only asking this for my personal self, I think, but do you think there's any way that the Packers will trade up because they do have so many draft picks, yeah. that they do have draft capital to use? Is there any way that they trade up to then get him and then mm. that is the guy for your defense? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question, Molly. And I, I honestly don't know the, the, the answer, right? Packers with 11 picks in this year's draft. Uh, which includes two picks in the third round, two picks in the sixth round, and two picks in the seventh round. Uh, three compensatory picks in there, uh, additionally, on top of their already eight picks uh, due to the Aaron Rodgers trade. They get the number 58 overall pick, or excuse me, the number 41 overall pick uh, from the New York Jets there in the second round. So the earlier second round pick is from the Jets, and then three compensatory picks, as I mentioned, uh, round five, round six, round seven, on top of their already eight picks. Uh, it's just not Ben Goody's M.O., and, you know, I, I try not to overread into what he's done in the past, but I feel like that can give you generally a good feel of what he may or may not do in the NFL draft. I feel like he's been more of a move-back guy than he has been a move-up guy. Fair. They moved up for Jordan Love. Mm-hmm. They moved back for Jair Alexander, which I think are probably his two best for first-round picks so far. Uh, since he took over as the general manager in 2018. Now, I can't remember. Remember when they got Christian Watson? They traded with the Vikings. Yeah, they traded up for him. Okay, they traded up. Okay, I couldn't remember how that worked. Okay. Yeah, Christian Watson, essentially a first-round pick. I think it was the 34th or yes. 35th overall pick in the NFL draft. It was one of the first picks of, of day two, uh, two years ago. So, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't say it's impossible that they'd move up. I just don't think it's likely. It doesn't feel like a goody move. Unless he is totally in love with Cooper DeGene, then maybe he'd move up for him. But I would guess Cooper DeGene, I've also heard his name said Cooper DeJean. I, I trust I your opinion. I think it's Cooper DeGene. Yeah, I, I, you're the Iowa fan around here, so I trust your opinion. I don't know. That. I kind of second guess myself when I say it, but I feel like it's Cooper DeGene. So I guess if we want to look into what Goody has done, and I will give you, I'm going to give you power here. Okay. So first round picks, the last three, excuse me, the last four. Dating back to 2021, first-round picks for Brian Gutekunst. 2021, it was Eric Stokes, a cornerback from? Georgia. Georgia. 2022, he picked Quay Walker, a linebacker from? Georgia. And Devontae Wyatt, a defensive end from? Yep, I remember this. Last year in the first round. Lucas Van Ness, Iowa. Right. So if Goody follows suit with what he did in 2021 and 2022, he drafted two defensive players, or three total, but... Two years. From the same school. All defensive players from Georgia. Could Lucas Van Ness be saying, let's go? Let's go. As he's reunited with his... <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was smooth. As he's reunited with his former teammate, Cooper DeGene. Would you be happy about that if they got him? Yeah, I would be. I mean, he's viewed as the, the top safety and third best cornerback, according to Mel Kuyper. Where does Mel Kuyper, like, have him going? Like, at what number? Uh, late teens, early 20s. So, I mean, if he falls a little bit, it's in, it's in the, the realm of possibility. And I would, I would be thrilled with the defensive back. Here are the positions I'd be thrilled with. Left tackle, linebacker, mm-hmm. defensive back. Yep. Because I feel like those are the biggest needs. But, again, not to read too much into what Goody has done or hasn't done, he doesn't always dress the biggest need in the first round of the draft. Wide receiver has felt like the biggest need forever. Mm-hmm. And he's never taken a wide receiver in the first round 
Shoot, the last wide receiver taken in the first round by the Packers was Javon Walker in 2000, what was that, 2003 maybe, 2004? Hashtagging Goody We Trust. 2002, Javon Walker was. So yeah, Green Bay but me. in Goody We Trust indeed. So we'll see. Uh, we'd love to hear from you though. Is there a position group you would like to see Goody not address in the first round of the NFL draft? 844-770-3776. So out of those three, what do you think is the biggest need? Those three positions that you just listed that, because I think we can all agree that Linebacker. those are Linebacker. It's linebacker. Well, um, so then that's leaning towards Cooper DeGene? Well, Based on our yeah, science true. right yeah, now. If, if we're, if well, we're putting on the tinfoil hats. Cooper yeah. DeGene's not really a linebacker. No, 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 that's, no, no, that's no but point. if that's the most important one, in Strove's opinion, to get out of those three position groups, uh-huh. then that's going to not be the, what Goody picks. Oh, okay, I see the, I see the logic. Yeah, fair, theirs. fair. Mm-hmm. I like where your head's at. Girl math. Girl okay. math, indeed. In girl, girl math working <laughs> out. Data. So I uh, would love to hear from you on that, but, but we'll continue to talk draft as we gear up for that about a month from now. It's very interesting to me. Very interesting to me, indeed. All right, uh, is this where I step out now because I'll be playing Minute to Win It? I actually want to flip it. I want Molly to play Minute to Win It today. Mm. She hates Minute to Win It. I know, I, but... So here's the thing. I actually love Minute to Win It and always want to be the person that plays it, but I suck at it. Okay. <laughs> I'm Ryan's really call. bad. There's only been one time that I've been good. Shoo shoo. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Into the hallway, by the way. Yep. Yep. Got yeah. it. All right. Molly okay. Brown is going to play Minute to Win It, which is presented by North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. Uh, we will ask for the callers momentarily, but my understanding, Ryan, is you need to tell me the topic. I need to set the over underline, and then we need to get callers. Is that correct? That is precisely how it works. Now, I see you actually read the sheet this time. Well done, Strofe. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Okay. Um, yes, and I wanted Molly to play today's Minute to Win It because. You're a diehard Brewers fan. I know you know all the answers to this question. Who were the 10 players on the Brewers' opening day starting lineup? Oh, I would have done well. That's the nine yeah. hitters and one starting pitcher. Yeah, I would have done well. Here. Exactly. I mean, you got the yellow jersey on. Like Diehard is strong, though. No, I know. I was sarcasm is what it was. I would have done okay, though, because I watched the game. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Whereas I feel like Molly was in the room for the game. I don't know how intently she was watching. Do you, you, i, I got to be honest with you. I think Reese Hoskins might go right over her head. If she okay, if she doesn't get Reese Hoskins, <laughs> <laughs> I think it might. Okay, we just spent an entire segment talking about him. All so right, so not. now what do we think the over under should be for Molly in that case? I well, let's think of. I'm not going to say out loud the obvious ones. I'm just trying to think of the. I'm going to go f- uh, f- uh, f- five and a half. F- I would four and a half. Four now, and a half. I, now Jim's really good at setting these lines. I always bring them down a little bit. I think today I'm making the right move by bringing them down. Four and a half. I'm okay with four and a half. Let's, let's do four let's and a half. Let's go four and a half is the over-under line for Molly Brown on Brewers opening day start. we need two callers. We need two. I know. Oh, oh, two callers. Let's go caller. What is Reese Hoskins number again? Uh, I, he's played one game with the Brewers. <laughs> I bet you're a diehard. I'm a diehard. Absolutely. <laughs> let's, go, let's go like this. Caller five, caller seven right now. All caller right. five, caller seven, caller five. You get to pick if you're on the over or the underside. Caller seven. You get the other side. Uh, you're each winning gift cards in North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. One bigger than the other, whoever picks the winning side. Right now, 844-770-3776. We need caller five, caller seven right now to play Minute to Win It. Molly Brown's line is four and a half. 844-770-3776. Caller 5, Caller 7, you are qualified to win a gift card to North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. Coming up on the other side, it's Minute to Win It, presented by North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. Caller 5, Caller 7, right now. This is Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. Watch every show live and for free on the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. You, ra ra. Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin present your Badger Minute. Here's Alex Strofe. This Badger Minute brought to you by Starry on Bank with three Madison area locations in Middleton, Sun Prairie, and Monona. Starry on Bank is here investing in your community. Start your experience by going to StarryOnBank.com. Member FDIC. The number is now five for Wisconsin Badgers men's basketball players who have entered the transfer portal. The domino effect began over the weekend when sophomore Connor Asijan announced his intention to leave the University of Wisconsin. And now three sophomores and one freshman have followed suit. Walk-on sophomores Luke Hartle and Ross Candelino announced earlier in the week they would enter the transfer portal. And on Thursday, freshman Gus Yaldin and sophomore A.J. Storr each announced they would leave Wisconsin. The news for Storr comes one day after he declared for the NBA draft. Get no interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Don't wait. You have to order by March 31st. Visit PellaWI.com. When you're in the right place at the right time, things get done. The important things like knowing what you need and how it all works. Fixing it right the first time. At Zimbrick Chevrolet, our people get it done right and now. 
That's how you know you're in the right place at the right time. Lease a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado LT for $398 per month or get up to $6,000 in savings on select models. Never overpay at Zimbrick Chevrolet. In the next 30 seconds, I'm going to tell you how to save money and save the planet. It's simple. Ditch your energy bill and make the switch over to Everlight Solar. While electricity prices keep rising, Everlight Solar will give you the chance to take ownership of your power while also reducing your carbon footprint. As a local company based out of Madison, they'll be there with you every step of the way as you make the switch to solar. To learn more about how you can save money and save the planet, go to everlightsolar.com. There's a good chance if you watch sports, you're getting served information about hormone optimization. What does that even mean? Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health can tell you exactly what hormone optimization means. He will take your blood work and let you know if it's right for you. If you're feeling sluggish, not losing weight like you used to, you're not gaining muscle like you used to, or you just don't feel like yourself in most aspects of your life, go see Dr. Nestor Rodriguez at Carbon World Health. In fact, sign up for the six-week experience so you can see everything that Carbon World Health has to offer, including hormone optimization. Learn more at CarbonWorldHealth.com. Hey, it's Ben Brust, and join me for a look back on one of the most memorable basketball seasons in Badger history. A banner year, the story of the 2014 Wisconsin Final Four team, featuring great conversations with Bo Ryan, Frank Kaminsky, Barstool Big Cat, Ian Eagle, and more. Wisconsin is headed to the Final Four. Starting April 1st, find it on ESPN Madison's YouTube channel, live on 100.5 ESPN, and wherever you get your podcasts. America is kept safe because the Army National Guard responds, protects, and supports our nation when it needs them most. The Army National Guard responds to disasters such as wildfires and floods. They protect us with missile defense, cybersecurity, and civilian support teams for chemical, biological, and radiological hazards. Be there for your community and your country. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Army National Guard. Aired by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association and this station. Welcome back to Rutledge and Hamilton. Presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Metro Kia Madison. Madison's trusted Kia dealership. This Friday song brings us back. It's Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors okay. Light. No Rutledge, no Hamilton. Molly Brown, Alex Strofe in for the guys. We do this little game every week. It's called Minute to Win It. It's brought to you by North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. Three locations in the Madison area. You can order catering to your party. You can go sit down and have some great food. EatNorthAndSouth.com is the website. Let's play Minute to Win It. Mm. <laughs> I say everything with pure confidence, whether I think I'm totally right or not. Or crumble under pressure. Pressure, pressure. This is the Minute to Win It, presented by North and South Seafood and Smokehouse, with three locations in Madison, DeForest, and Verona. All right, Molly, we know that it was opening day. You said this is your oh, favorite God. day for baseball, and I think you already know what's coming. Um, so I want to know how close you were watching the Brewers today, because... A lot of change in the roster this offseason. A lot of guys coming, a lot of guys going. So I want to see if you can name how many of the 10 Brewers you can name from today's starting lineup. That's including the nine hitters in the lineup, as well as today's starting pitcher. You said you is watched it. Is this a it. joke? You said you watched it. Is this a joke? Are is it a kidding? joke? What do you mean, is it a joke? You said you were watching. Yeah. I watched it, but not watched it. <laughs> All right. Wait, does this Come include on. like a pitcher? Yeah, yeah it's, it's the starting pitcher, starting and, the pitcher. Nine hit, and the nine hitters. Ten people. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ten. I can't even remember the guy that did the ugly slide. <sighs> I, I, I called that. I, told, I can't hear it. I told, Haskins? I totally Hawkins. Hold on. Your time hasn't started yet. Okay. Yeah, does she need to give you a full name? How, what's the rule? Uh, no, I'll we're take not last doing names. Last names. But she totally has to be fun. correct on the last names? Yes, of course. Okay, well, she can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Molly, your timer is going to start now. Freddie Peralta. He was the starting pitcher today. That is correct. Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. That's an easy one. He's literally on the stream for you there. Dirty Haskins. Dirty Haskins. Um, no. That's he incorrect. He got to say incorrect. it correctly. What? Think about your vowels there. 
Hass, Hat Hawkins. Hat Your Hastings. vowels. Your vowels. It's Reese Hoskins. I'm just going to give Hoskins. it to you. Hoskins. Okay, right, that's fair enough. Uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Telez, is he still on the team? Rowdy no longer on the team. You got two incorrect. Nice. You only get one more incorrect I answer. I literally don't think I know any other. Don't I get three wrong? You, you got two wrong. You, you got, got Haskins wrong, wrong the first time. Haskins is his name. No, it's not. Um, I'm really trying to think of other <sighs> brewers. I don't know Seriously. other brewers. Oh, man. None should... at all. Uh, who, What's their catcher's name? Do you know that because you can remember it, or are you just fishing? I don't even know if it's the same catch that they've had for years, if I'm being honest. For years? It's only a second Who did they year. have for years? Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, 10 seconds. Guys, I literally, I literally... What was that, a three spot? Yeah! I mean, do you want to throw Four. one more? I got Hoskins, right? That, the Hoskins that, that was, was the one third. of three. You got Yelich and Oh, Rowdy Peralta. wasn't right. You're right. Rowdy was incorrect. Hold on, I'm trying to think. Wait, Miley. Nope, he's a pitcher. No, he's hurt. He didn't also. play. Oh, yeah, he's he was hurt. injured. Yeah, he's on the injured two list. starting pitchers. Wow, that's an interesting strategy for the Brewers. What, what's that one dude? Uh, yeah, that one dude. No, let me just think. I, of I bet he had a hell of a game. He was going to go to arbitration. 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 You're Corbin Bra Burns. Corbin yeah, Burns, who he plays was... for the Baltimore no, no, Orioles. No, 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 not him. Correct. The other one. Brandon Woodruff. Yeah. He's out all year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's their second baseman? Are you sure you Who's didn't want me to play this? I could have done it. I, I he done wanted solid. it Look, just for the content, not for precisely. the person winning. That was, that was bad. That was tough. Can you tell me the other names? Because I honestly don't know any other players. Well, let's start with the young rookie. Who yeah, led lead off. off uh, 19-year-old phenom, Jackson Churio. He was in my sports center update. Would have never gotten that. I should have listened. <laughs> oh, and the two-hole, Ryan. The catcher. The long-time catcher. catcher. William Contreras, the all-star. Okay, okay. I didn't know his name, but I knew his name. Yeah, that's Wait, that works. Let's un let's unpack that. What do you mean? I knew he existed, <laughs> but I didn't know his name. That's like, do you know like the name of like the backup nickel for the for the Packers? You, you know, know he exists. You know what name I was thinking of? Okay. That I'm like longtime catcher. If you say Jonathan Lucroy, I'm leaving the studio. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying a different team. Yoli Shasin? Isn't that one of the names? Uh, he's a pitcher. Oh, yep. pitcher. Who's the guy that used to be with the Cardinals? That was. That's Wilson Contreras. No, Williams' brother. His brother. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, oh Yadier okay, Molina. Would... Yeah, Yadier that's what I was Molina. thinking of. Uh, not a brewer. Years ago. He doesn't even play. He retired. <laughs> Who was the other guy in those Cardinals teams? Remember that? Paul Bald. Goldschmidt? Bald had a goatee. Oh, yeah, Goldschmidt. Yeah. He, was a, he was a Diamondback. Oh, yeah, uh, well, he was a Cardinal first. Yeah, uh, another great Cardinal. Played great for the Angels as well. Place for somebody else. I saw uh, his I'm name on the bottom. We're not talking about Goldschmidt. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are we talking about? <laughs> the great, maybe the greatest cardinal of our life. All right, hidden after Reese Hoskins in the cleanup spot was Willie Adamas, the shortstop. Oh, I do know his name. I mean, come, yeah. Uh, mm, clearly, you don't. There's, a, then, there's a Travis somewhere in this lineup. Nope. Ooh, okay, no, the next not. four. Kay. Yeah, I knew you had no chance to get these. Bryce Perkins, Joey nope. Ortiz, Gary nope. Sanchez, and nope. Andrew Monasterio. Nope. Never heard of That's any of those That's not even a real name. Did you say Travis? Yeah, there's got to be a Travis on here somewhere, right? Travis, that's a, Travis Shaw? That's a baseball name. Yeah, he used to be a Kent State guy. Kent State. Shout out Kent State. <laughs> there you well, go. That was a disaster. What about the, what about the outfielders? Who, who, who was I, Did he say I, outfielders? I, I named yeah, yeah, Jackson Churro, Christian Yelich, oh. and then Bryce Perkins. <laughs> All right, who was caller five, who was caller seven, and who did they, what did they pick? Uh, Patrick from Madison, caller number five. I hope is he got the under. Very disappointed in Molly Brown. He took the over. It's unfortunate. Uh, Dan from Stoughton, though. Well Happy. done. Congrats, Dan. Congratulations you know, on being caller number two today. I don't know what's dumber, baseball or me. That's where I'm at right now. I have an answer. I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> baseball. Fair. Hour two, Rutledge and Hamilton with Molly Brown, Alex Strofe in for the fellas coming up next. But first, here's Jim Rutledge telling you about the team over at Canopy Wealth Management. Care, competency, and clarity. It's not just a tagline, it's a promise at Canopy Wealth Management. Go to canopy-wealth.com to start your journey with them today. They are an independent, fee-based firm specializing in customized investment portfolio management, tax-aware wealth planning, and personalized client service. And that's the thing. You're going to get a personalized experience at Canopy Wealth Management. Again, go to canopy-wealth.com and start your financial journey today. 
You can drive cutting edge design. 2024 Audis are on the lot and ready for delivery. You can save $7,500 on select Audi EVs with the AFS EV lease bonus. See dealer for details and exclusions. Eligibility is subject to credit approval through Audi Financial Services. Cannot be combined with national customer credit. Offer expires April 1st, 2024. Stop in and test drive today. Check out our website to see our current electric vehicle inventory and our monthly specials. The search for your Audi begins and ends at Zimbrick Audi of Madison. Off the Beltline and Rimrock Road. Drive yours today. Hey, this is Craig Karmas, and join Kyle Wallace and me every Sunday morning for Sunday Karma on a Good Karma Brands radio station, 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio, this is your Metro Kia of Madison Sports Center. Good afternoon, Madison. I'm Ryan Wollersheim, and this is your Sports Center update once again brought to you by ESPN Madison on YouTube. Subscribe to watch all your favorite daily shows, Mr. Irrelevant with Alex Strofe, exclusively streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and special featured content. Subscribe to watch ESPN Madison on YouTube. Milwaukee Brewers getting a win on opening day as they took down the Mets 3-1 in the Big Apple. Christian Yelich goes 3-4 for four with a solo home run, and 19-year-old rookie Jackson Churio picks up his first hit and RBI in his big league debut. Freddie Peralta throws six innings in his starting outing today. One hit, one earned run, eight strikeouts for the Brewers' new ace. Brewers will be back at it against the Mets tomorrow in New York City at noon central time. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks fall 107-100 last night to the Pelicans. They'll look to bounce back also tomorrow, Saturday, 6.30 p.m. as they are once again on the road taking on the Atlanta Hawks. And then wrapping up from yesterday, Wisconsin women's basketball. They're still dancing in the postseason. And they're on to the great eight of the WNIT after they took down the Illinois State Redbirds at the Kohl Center, 86-61. They'll face the winner of Friday's game between Purdue, Fort Wayne, and St. Louis. That time, date, and location to be announced. Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealer. Stop into Metro Kia on the east side of Madison or MetroKiaOfMadison.com. You got the show. The show. The show. The show. Everybody's ego takes a shot on this show. This is Rutledge and Hamilton with Jim Rutledge and Matt Hamilton. People like me. That's some booty, Jim. Presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Everyone is so mean to me. I am Jim Rutledge. You never go full Rutledge. <laughs> <laughs> Send them my way. Ask for forgiveness. Yes. That's what I'm asking. Next time, just say, Jimmy yelled at me made me do it. There is not a lot of things more satisfying than five that seconds is, is so generous. Wait, so there's, you get like a second and a half for me. Yeah. Yeah. Ask Jen. <laughs> Blue killer bust, right? Blue killer bust, yeah. baby. Broadcasting live from the Everlight Solar Studio with downtown Molly Brown. Here's no idea. Irrelevant. Hour two, Rutledge and Hamilton on your Friday leading into the weekend. Could be a good weekend, I think. No Rutledge, no Hamilton. Molly Brown, Alex drove in for the fellas. Primetime Wollersheim running the show per usual. 844-770-3776. Your way into the show. 844-770-ESPN. Uh, okay, so um, I was thinking in the break. You know, it's opening day. Maybe we should cut Molly some slack. It's a young roster this year. She named the starting pitcher at eight strikeouts. Very nice season opener for Freddie Peralta. She named the former MVP, um, Christian Yelich. Go. Go. On track for 162 home runs. That's true, he is. Take that for data. And you named, you named incorrectly Reese Hoskins, who we spent 15 minutes discussing to start the show. Giannis, that's good for it. Haskins, Hoskins, tomato, tomato, okay? <laughs> That's where we're at. Potato, potato. Haskins, I'm, just, I'm going to start referring to you as Molly Pink. You? Why? Tomato, tomato. It's, it's, an, it's a color. <laughs> it's also a color. That's not the same thing. It'd be like saying Molly Brown, Molly Braun. <laughs> Okay, Molly Braun it is. Hey, okay. Ryan Braun. Ryan Brewer. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Brewer. She's, she's getting hot. She's heating guess up. What, guess what number he was? Eight. Whoa. Wow, Molly. Okay. <laughs> A baseball expert on our hands. Baseball this, nerd. Exactly. I used to have this sweet shirt. It had the state of Wisconsin. Okay. And then it said like number like eight and twelve. And then it was like something about like we have the MVPs or something like that. Oh. Cool. It was a little bit after the Packers won the Super what, Bowl. So I think what number right does Christian Yelich wear? Twenty two. I covered my shirt, I think, in time. <laughs> um, I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm feeling thirty four. The NBA. NASA's forty three. They should make a they should make a <laughs> Dame Lillard, zero. Can this just be a game now? Can we, 
Yeah, let's do it. Bobby Portis. I knew you were going to say that one. I actually don't know what number you wear. 16? No. 21? No. 21? That's Pat Beverly. <laughs> knew that. Duh. Pat Beverly is 21. <laughs> no, really, what number is Bobby? Six? Single digit, not six. Flip it upside down. Nine. What an ugly number. I don't like that number. Really? Yeah, not a fan. Okay. Hmm. How about A.J. Dillon? Hold on. Ooh, you might have got me on this one. <laughs> Seriously? No, I'm actually thinking. It's he's, not football season. I'm, I'm not in that. He's worn the same number for four years. I know he has. I'm trying to think of what number he is. All right. Maddie, can Aaron you come Jones, here? 33. Maddie, can you come here for a moment? Just share my mic with me for one second. Maddie Hayes, our social media coordinator. She is an Ohio native. She is a Cleveland sports fan. She has only been in Wisconsin for a year. What number does A.J. Dillon wear for the Green Bay Packers? 20. 27. Not, not right. 28. 28. I think it's 28. It is 28. Thank you, Maddie. Great contribution. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's like, that really got me. Do you think Aaron Jones is going to be 33 in uh, Minnesota? Because that was Dalvin Cook's number. But he's been gone. They're not going to retire. And also, it. I, I mean, Dalvin so, yeah. Cook also switched from 33 to 6, I think. Something, Something like, like that. that. Yeah, single digit. Who knows? All right. That was awful. What number is Sean Clifford? Eight. Rutledge and what Hamilton. number is David Bakhtiari? 69. Nice. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, I got wings this weekend. I like that number. Tell me if I'm immature like You got honest. wings? I got wings this past weekend at my favorite wing joint in the Sun Prairie area. And um, I saved the receipt because I was customer number 69. Yeah, you're 12. <laughs> Did you go there with your girlfriend? No, it was Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> we laughed about it for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Then we, then we went to, uh, you know, the, the grocery store that uh, requires a membership. Big, like, warehouse kind of outlet. You buy things in bulk. Did you guys go on a date? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's cute. We were just hanging out. We were having a Sunday. I love a good grocery Watch shopping date. Watched the Marquette date. game at a sports bar prior. Mm -hmm. we, we actually really hit the town pretty good on Sunday. Good for us. It was actually, well, we did have a third person with us, too. Who? Uh, a duel, who works with us as well. Hey, now. It's the three of us. A man date. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you missed out. Okay. That's fun. It was fun, yeah. We, what did we, you guys do after your uh, grocery shopping? Slumber day? party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how quickly you said that. <laughs> no, I went home. I fell asleep on accident. And then I didn't fall back asleep until 4 a.m. On Monday morning. Yuck. Yeah, That's why you came in nights. like trash on Monday. Oh, wait. I wasn't even here on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I think that was last week. Hey now. You were begging for Tylenol in the morning. No, that was uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I went to the concert. I went to a concert on Wednesday night. Time flies. Concerts get to you, man. Like, I, I don't know if there's a public setting in which drinking happens more sneakily than a concert. Because you're never focused on the drinking, right? If you're sitting at a bar, you're maybe focused on the conversation. Oh, hold on. Having. When you say sneakily, like, sneaks up on you? Yeah. Like, you don't process that, oh, whoa, I've had three beers, you know, in the last however amount of time. Wouldn't a sporting event qualify under this? Like if I you're at a Packer gonna game, you're going to go to the yeah, concession but, stand once, get like three beers at a time because you don't want to stand in line a bunch of times. But that's the thing with a sporting event. Typically, if I'm going to a sporting event, that is also a drinking outing. Right? Is like a concert I'm, not? No, because I'm usually not like, I had, I had a, we went out for Mexican, so I got like a margarita <laughs> before the concert. <laughs> and then I went to the concert and I mean, it, you know, you're there three and a half hours, so naturally you're going to have a few beers. And I'm like, whoa. Whoops. Okay. So. Yeah, Especially when you don't know any of the songs like you were in the boat, right? But I feel like if that's the case, then I'm, fo I'm hyper-focusing on how much I'm drinking because I don't care about the songs. Yeah. Because I'm kind of just like, I don't know the words, so what I do know. Yeah. So here's the, oh, here's the other issue, to, to your point. I didn't know any songs by this band. Mm-hmm. So I think I was just going, yeah, <laughs> don't know any of the words. Keep tipping <laughs> it back. And I think it got to me quick. So Did you do like awkward dancing? Because I feel like you were probably just there with oh, like, your yeah. arms like this. So, so here's like, the wavy wax <laughs> ball inflatable yeah. guy. Yeah, so Bro. Ryan, Ryan I, I forgot. Who, Maddie, was this you I was telling this to the other day? So you, you and Jim make fun of me for being the wacky inflatable two man when I dance. And I noticed at this concert on Wednesday night, Ryan, you're absolutely right, because I was kind of going like this a little bit. Like, this is kind of my go-to dance here. <laughs> Just, like, flail on the shoulders and the arms a little bit. It's a little bit Metro Kia Madison Oi and Wacky Inflatable Metro 2 Kia Man. of Madison Oi. It, that's a little bit what it is. So, yeah. I, I mean, you guys nailed that to a T, unfortunately. So, anyway. You.
Yeah. So uh, Packers <laughs> don't want him to draft the quarterback. Let's go. That's for sure. You're so awkward. <laughs> Your dancing is awkward. Your transitions are awkward. Just everything about you is just. Ooh, it's this Friday at Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light. When the mountains are blue, you know what to do. And that is crush a Coors Light. We'll be posting our second poll into the field. Do you like coleslaw? Yeah, it's you never got posted. around to asking that question. So do you like coleslaw? You when, said yes. When yeah, it's you, not super sweet. So I, I, I don't mind. I, I feel like with age, my palate is, you know. Like a fine wine. It's getting better over time. I Strofe eats chicken tenders and mac and cheese every single day for lunch. Let's not try to pretend like you're a bougie, bougie guy. Well, I don't eat lunch most days, to be real honest with you. Okay, I'm sorry. Your lunch today was a Mountain Dew and uh, goldfish. A couple handfuls of goldfish, yeah. Yes. Fish you Friday. You are very incredibly fish mature. Fi- fish Friday. You have a mature palate. Fish for lunch, fish for dinner. <laughs> What's more mature, Strofe's palate or Ben Brust's behavior? Oh, I have a Do good food palate. I, I mean, just That's because just, I don't eat lunch doesn't mean I have a bad. Your food other palate. go-to food is enchiladas. That is literally the only thing that you make. That's the only thing the I've only ever thing seen you eat for breakfast is like a donut. And uh, muffin, those muffins. Muffin. I'm a muffin, muffin. guy. Muffin. Oh yeah. wow. I'm a muffin guy. How grown up. A muffin. <laughs> but I don't really like eggs. Wacky like, inflatable alone. muffin man. <laughs> if I have like a scramble Ow. with some breakfast potatoes and jalapenos, like then yeah, I'll eat an egg. But. I like hard-boiled <laughs> eggs. And maybe I'll eat, that would be my preferred way to eat an egg by itself, is hard-boiled. No. Too eggy. <laughs> I guess maybe your metal... What your the pal- hell does that mean? <laughs> Scrambled eggs don't have like that super eggy taste like a hard-boiled egg does. Also, I don't know how to hard-boil an egg without reading it from a crook- cookbook. Shut up. I literally forget how to hard-boil an egg. It's in the title. But then you have to like... But I don't know if like the water boil supposed water. to be. But is the bo- is the water supposed to be boiling before you put the eggs in, or is the yes. egg supposed? To- no, I don't think so. Well, I don't think it matters. I don't think it makes much of a difference. It I just needs it to be in there for like eight minutes, and then you pull it out and you put it in the fridge for a while. It's not that complicated. No, you don't even put it in the fridge. You just dump it, and then you pour like cold water over it. Isn't you it? could do that too. Yeah, either. But see, or. these are the things I need to read a cookbook every single time that I hard no, boil eggs. No, you don't. No, I really do. You boil eggs in water, and then it's done. No, I think I really do. I know Ryan, my, I, I know my I, cookie, I know my cookie recipe, here? my chocolate chip cookie recipe better than I know how to hard boil an egg by, by memory. Well, how often do you hard boil eggs? Not very often. Well, that's that's probably why you wouldn't remember it. How often do you hard boil eggs? If you like them that much, that's how, your preferred way of eating eggs. Do you hard boil yeah, eggs more often or watch Brewers games more often? Oh, hard that's... boil eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. That's a good question. I watch more Brewers games. Then you hard boil eggs? Yeah. I would hope so with you wearing that jersey. Do you make more enchiladas than you watch Brewers games? No. I I haven't made enchiladas in two months. Mm. Maybe it's been shorter than that. You talk about enchiladas a lot. They're one of my favorite foods. It's an easy recipe. I just made them the other day. Love brats. Such a mature palate. It's almost brat season. Well, dude, there's a difference between cooking and eating out, right? Like, if I'm cooking, I, I live by myself. I'm making simple dishes. That doesn't mean you can't make a good dish for yourself. Okay, what do you make? You're like, I walked into your apartment Ryan's one time. Ryan's a cooker. He, he, yeah, he's a pasta guy, actually. I learned I started, him. recently became a pasta guy. I made some ground uh, turkey with it, some pasta, some like, uh, it was a mushroom and vodka sauce. I'm a vodka Ooh. sauce guy as well. Vodka sauce is really good. I don't think I've ever had vodka sauce. Does that vodka in it? Probably. I mean, like, what does it taste like? I mean, it doesn't taste like vodka. Um, well, I know It's that. like an orange sauce. It's a little more, oh God, what's the best way to describe it? Strofe, what would you say? You, you have the mature palate here. You're sophisticated. <laughs> Tell us all the yeah. notes, Matt Hamilton. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you switch it around in your mouth and you like sample it at, at uh, the place we were at this past Sunday. Bro, yeah. by the way, I was a sucker for those free samples. I'd what never, are you talking about? I'm talking about Costco. I'd never been in there oh, before. Oh, okay. They have free samples <laughs> no, galore. I yes. literally had like eight what free samples. What did you samples. get? What, what My samples? My one-year-old mozzarella son cheese, loves samples. A mozzarella cheese thing. Um, they actually ironically gave out goldfish. No, Cheetos. Cheetos, Cheetos. Yeah, it was yeah. Cheetos. Um, Baked Cheetos? No, just normal, mm. regular, schmegular Cheetos. Mm. Just had a little cup of those. Okay. Um, I had a good vinaigrette on something. Was that on the mozzarella? That was on the mozzarella. Okay, the like vinaigrette was terrific. I, I, had a, I had a good chat with the person working the stand about the vinaigrette. Did. They told me it was an aisle 347B or something. I was like, what? How do you aisle things? Um, wow, I'm surprised that they actually gave you a location because one time I asked them, I was like, hey, do you know where this is? They were like, I don't work here. 
I was like, okay. They like hire oh, those you. people out. They are, they are not. Yeah, one person employed. asked if I wanted to hear about a, 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 a carbonated beverage, and then they didn't give me a sample. Did you ask so did, for one? Did yeah. You, did you listen and to And he it? said, no, I'm out. I said, oh, so you're just standing here telling people about it? Wait, so I'm just curious about your guys' dynamic. Okay, so there was three of you that went to Costco. Yeah, well, what's wrong with our dynamic? Okay, no, no, no there's, nothing, there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. I'm wondering, did each of you get your own cart? No. Mm -mm, one cart. Okay. And then I bought one thing. Do you all those stick together, or did you split up? I stuck with Ryan. You can't separate at Costco. You'll never find each other again. I go to Costco quite a bit. I am very well aware of this. I'm just curious how you guys did that. We were a unit. We did not split up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we were like a fist. <laughs> yeah, you made that sound <laughs> a lot more unified. Yes. <laughs> Look, I was trying it's to fun. take care of you. I knew it was your first time. I didn't want to overwhelm you. All right, Strofe? I was, I was it's a lot. It's a lot there. Um, so anyway, what were we talking about? Things I make? Sampling. Yeah. You're a sucker for samples. I was a sucker. That was crazy. Do they have any suckers? Did you get some of those too? No, no suckers. Oh, I'm sure you're disappointed. Like I said, you and my one-year-old son. Two peas in a pod. He loves the samples at Costco too. What he do one-year-olds eat? some Cheetos. Huh? One-year-olds can eat Cheetos? I mean, yeah. He eats everything. What, what's a he normal dinner than for I him? Do. Uh, two nights ago was meatloaf and you wait a minute. <laughs> Your one year old son is throwing meatloaf down last, his gullet? Last night he was eating enchiladas. Shut Heck up. yeah. You're making fun of me for eating enchiladas and you had them last my, night. My one year old son eats more than our eleven year old boy. No lie. Okay. I just pile on his plate, pile on his plate, because he just, just Don't. inhales it. Mm. Yeah, I didn't. Like <laughs> then stop. <laughs> inhales mm -hmm. it. Stop. Pound some water too. God, such a good eater. But like I said, <laughs> I love to plop them in the little cart, take them around, give them some samples. Last time we got like some summer sausage. Oh, that, talk about springtime. Yeah, mm -hmm. baseball mm -hmm. tailgating, crackers, mm -hmm. sausage. Oh man, oh man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Tuesday, actually, we'll talk about this on the other side. I I'm supposed to be doing social media stuff at the Brewers tailgate on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Brewers you, tailgate. What's, what's that? Like in the in the parking lot oh, okay. of Amfam Field. With all the robots, remember? I'm going to ask yes. you what's, fit, what's inbounds, what's out of bounds. We'll still do some pole dancing, and we'll wrap up the week here on Rutledge and Hamilton, all still ahead. Presented by Coors Light right here on 100.5 ESPN. But first, Matt Hamilton on Dancing Goat Distillery. Matt Hamilton here. I'm off curling somewhere in Europe, whether it's Sweden or Switzerland. One thing I do know is I've got the goat, Dancing Goat Distillery. Just a hop, skip, and a jump outside of Madison, Dancing Goat has all of the fun you're looking for. From tours, distilling experiences, tasting, and whole lot more. Check out DancingGoat.com to see all they have to offer. And if you're looking for one of the most fun bourbons around, it's that quirky and humble blend bourbon. Asian Colombian Oakwood, it's not your granddad's bourbon. Check it out and get it wherever you get delicious spirits and remember you got to be 21 years or older to enjoy you're listening to rutledge and hamilton presented by coors light also brought to you by j and k security solutions securing homes and businesses in the madison area since 1987 Get 0% interest for up to three years at Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. I'm Gina Della from Pella. Pella's free in-home consultations make replacing or redesigning your windows and doors easy. We go beyond just measuring and handing you a quote by listening and educating you on all of your product options. And with DesignWorks, you can see what your home will look like before you buy. Order by March 31st to get 0% interest for up to three years. Set your free consultation at PellaWI.com. Certain restrictions apply. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday, and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like the Nitty Gritty in Middleton, the Village Green, Riley Tavern, and Remington's Tavern. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to work in the yard, tackle a project, or enjoy family time, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $100 spent on estate fertilizer, like $10 off all new estate premium 4-in-1 lawn treatment with four benefits, crabgrass prevention and contact killer, broadleaf weed control, and lawn fertilizer all in one application. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda Service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. From color-changing alexandrite to shimmering zircon and everything in between at Chalmers Jewelers, you'll find high-quality, affordable, one-of-a-kind pieces. We source straight from the gem cutters and we manufacture in-house from start to finish. As the manufacturer, we believe in truth in pricing. Never pay more for quality and stunning beautiful jewelry. She's one-of-a-kind and so should her jewelry be. While others may send your jewelry dreams to someone else to make, with us, your dreams become reality with the help of our custom jewelers, with you involved the whole way. With a staff that has over 200 years of combined experience, why buy from a place that marks up jewelry made by the thousands? When you can buy direct from Chalmers for that one-of-a-kind piece that is better quality, often for less. Chalmers Jewelers and Madison. Ben Brust here to tell you about the Princeton Club. I joined the Princeton Club because I was looking for a place I could invest in my health, and the environment and the community I have felt has made it so easy for me to incorporate it into my everyday life. It doesn't matter where you're at in your fitness journey because they have something to offer everyone. It also goes beyond fitness. From the moment you walk in the club to the moment you walk out, there is a togetherness felt throughout the members and staff that keeps you going for your better tomorrow. Don't wait any longer and get started on your fitness journey today at PrincetonClub.net. That's PrincetonClub.net. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Carbon World Health. Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light, rolls out on your Friday, March 29th, 524 p.m. Alex Drew of Molly Brown in for the fellas. Primetime Wollersheim running the show. Tuesday is opening day at AmFam Field. It is the home opener for the Milwaukee Brewers, who are on pace to have a 162-0 record in this MLB season. Joining us now is Madison Hayes. She is the director of social media for ESPN Social Wisconsin. media queen! Um, I don't know if director is actually retired, but I'm just going to give it to you. Director of social media for ESPN Wisconsin. Okay, cool. Awesome. Great. You just got promoted. Congratulations. (laughs) Thank you. So, Maddie, you and I are headed to Milwaukee Tuesday. Yes. To cover the Brewers game. Yes. Um, And part of uh, both of our roles, really. On uh, on Tuesday is before the game, you know, interviewing some people in the parking lot, creating some content. I, I <laughs> is it like out of bounds for me to walk up to tailgates and be like, "Hey, I'm Alex Strofe with ESPN Wisconsin. Would you mind if I had a brat?" Is um, that is that is, is that off limits? Because I was thinking about that earlier today. Me personally, I would never like. For me, I think that's rude. But I, I, for some reason, I feel like you could pull it off. <laughs> like you could go up there. <laughs> you with, mind if I have a cracker and some sausage and some cheese? Do you guys you mind? Want to share some brats Thank together. You. But I also that's like the energy of the parking lot, right? It's like Typically, very yeah. all friends. Typically, yeah. Now, I, I guess I would just ask you if somebody came up to you and said that, what would you do? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a great point. Do I? I mean, it depends on the amount of food I have. But if they're if they're but flexing if they the media camera, muscles, yeah, if they're flexing the media muscles, wow, it, I might help them. And then with little their Susie content. Q doesn't get a brat because well, Alex Stroh had one. a good one. <laughs> what What if we flip one? Flip one? Like uh, flip it? If it, yeah. land, if it lands no, 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 sausage sorry, split down, it. Split, you get it. Split. <laughs> sausage up, I get it. Split, split it. I mean, like cut it in the down the half, okay. down the middle. Which I way? can't speak. Which way are we cutting? Are we cutting it down the half or are we cutting it down the? <laughs> yeah, are we folding it like a hamburger or a hot dog? I gotta think. Hamburger style or hamburger style? Hot dog, hot dog style. style. It's a hot dog. It's so a hamburger style. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alex, I just don't think I've never called you Alex before. I don't think you should ask people for brats. I feel like there's other content we could go. Okay, so what am I going for? 
Four? Not the hashes. Well, like we've talked about some of the ideas we have, and we don't need to bring those up on the air. We'll What's keep the it a best? Surprise. No, no, no. We, but, we haven't talked about our ideas. We, you have one idea that you are sold on. No, I have like five ideas we've talked about. Oh, five. Okay. But we're five. five. I can't speak all of a sudden. Uh, we will we'll do that off the air. Right. But on the air, I'm, I was wondering if you would have an issue if you're following me around to like do a do a tailgate eats. This is an idea Ooh, I have. I but, love this. Eats. So I ask people for okay. food in the process, though. <laughs> Like, hey, can I have a brewski? You know hey, can I right, have... Right, exactly. Right, but can I, I have I a Coors gotta, Light? Can you can't I just have... ask. I, th- I don't think you can ask. You can be like, hey, what's up? I'm Alex Joe from ESPN Madison. We're getting some content, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do you want to share a brat? So am I like, am I, am I <laughs> princess? <asking>. Or... <laughs> Wait, one person on one side. Right, Why princess of the tramp or whatever rate. it's called. Yeah. Why don't you like rate that brat Lady you're eating one to ten? And then, the, and then they'd probably be like, oh, do you want one? Um, that's right? kind of fun. Like, just go up to him and be like, rate these. Uh, oh, like, what do you rate those nachos you're eating? And then he'd probably be like, you want one? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But I, I, I feel like I would be more fun. <laughs> yeah, rate maybe, that broad. But maybe we could be like, hey, we're doing rate a ball. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing a ballpark food series. I'm rating different yeah. food that groups give me. Would you guys be interested? Wait, that's that'd be a fun. good way. I that like is it. a good I like way. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to get fat out, at AmFam Field. No, you don't eat. I think this is exactly. real. <laughs> You're a Sorry for child. having me on. Me and Molly just like. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I bring something to the table right now? Yeah, go for it. Me and Molly are starting a podcast. <laughs> okay. What should we name it? What? <laughs> Thank what you, would Ryan. you name our podcast if and we you have, were us? We have one Maddie option. Maddie and Molly of names that rhyme. Maddie, and, Mo- Maddie and Molly does not rhyme, <laughs> but they both start with M. So. That's what I meant. <laughs> um, so we have one name, and we're just not sure if we like what it. What is it? It's Game Time Gossip. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, but well, you don't like anything I say. Ryan, what do you think? I don't like the name Mr. Irrelevant. So. Yeah, you don't <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Just kidding, actually. Uh, what about like brown haze? Ew. Brown haze? <laughs> like pur- like My, purple like haze? purple haze. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see what you're going Jimmy Hendrix? Brown yeah. haze. That sounds like poop. Wait, is this Sounds purple? like a really bad sounds brown like when, they, when they lay like manure in like the like the country <laughs> and, and then you just smell haze, it. Baby. Like <laughs> gross. Sounds like Wisconsin, doesn't it? Brown haze. Yeah. Brown haze. No, because okay. then people are going to think that my name is Braun. Molly Braun? No. Braun. Yeah. Yeah. I am That's not the married Wisconsin to Brian pronunciation Braun. of your name. Tim in Oregon says if if Alex is being followed by a camera and you're rehearsing, quote unquote, near the brat burnings, people will offer because I would. So I think people are just going to offer us brats, according to Tim. <laughs> uh, thank you. Brat How burnings? Many? Do you want to go to one that is burning brats? I like burnt brats. Mm-hmm. Do you guys call it cornhole or bags? I call it both. Yeah. I call it beanbag toss. Hey, it looks like for a child. That's my Wisconsin accent. Big, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you. Bag, bag, bag. Yeah. yeah. So are you guys going to the game on Tuesday? Yeah, we are. Who do they play? Uh, the Minnesota Twins. Oh, New man on the fun. Minnesota Twins. That's Minnesota Vikings. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Aaron Jones. Twenty-eight, baby. Nope, that's AJ Dillon. Thirty-three. Twenty-eight, baby. <laughs> well, we'll see what he is there. Get this sort of great content on Brown Hayes on Wisconsin <laughs> on Demand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is not a promo and is not called brown so if you so you guys are starting a podcast we yes. are so have you done any recordings together any rehearsals how are we where are we at in the no process? we're just slime blind so you haven't done anything no yet. i'm just kidding we've we've been recording for a few months now yeah okay. so give um, me give, give us a taste what what what, what should we expect no pressure <laughs> well, are we allowed to be talking about this i don't even know well, I, i'm not the one that brought it up we have so. no rules um <laughs> I'll let her talk. So um, I don't get well, it. recently so, we've been talking about how I'm stalking a man. You're stalking a man. Yes. <laughs> go on. Okay. That's go, illegal. Me- yeah, but oh. go on. Oh, that's actually facts. Yeah. Um, Is it illegal? To- stalk? Yes. Stalk? Yeah, Only yeah. if they find out. Yeah. True. Still okay, illegal, so but continue. I, I found a guy I thought was cute on sure. socials. Okay. And we frequent the same places. Oh, okay. So I'm like, okay, what time does he go there? And let me put myself in the position to meet him by being at those places. This sounds more strategic than stalking. You're not showing, you don't know where he lives, do you? <laughs> oh. I don't no, know. No, I don't, do we? I, I, I don't know which apartment is his. But you know where he lives? Yes. Have you driven past it? Well, he, <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's good. On opposite day. Thank you. So you have? Yes. <laughs> Only because it's on her way home. Yeah, it's literally like right there, though. So I just wanted to see. Does see if he, you does see he his know, car. Does he know you exist? No. It's well, like it's like fate, honestly. I don't yeah. see why you two shouldn't be together. Yeah, he, just... he 
could be sucking you. You just don't know. Wait, that's actually a great point. Now that's, that's a, a great point. Now this follows, is a romantic comedy right if, here. Exactly. <laughs> if she follows him on Instagram, he might have said like been like, "Oh, who's this girl that followed me?" Looks at her page, and then he's like, "Oh, dang, okay." And then he just like keeps yeah looking. Okay. No, no that's, that's we don't know. This sounds like a very one-sided relationship. We don't, don't know. One day so I was covering the Bucks, and he was there. I'm like, wow. We gonna win Did you say hello? No. Why not? <laughs> um, because he, because I was playing hard to get. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make him want me. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the case. He doesn't know you exist. Uh, one time I smiled at him. Did that's you smile back? He gave me a head nod. Where'd you smile at him? At the gym. Oh, so you ran oh. into him at the gym? Yes. Okay, well, I, you I are doing him. a horrible job of presenting what's going on here. So you guys you, are asking me a billion questions. <laughs> you followed him on answer, social media. And I'm answering honestly. I appreciate that. It is a core value here at our company. <laughs> uh, thank so, you. I GK believe I'm answering all these honestly. So, <laughs> so you found him on social media when? When, when was your first interaction with him or, you know, <laughs> noticed him? When did you first notice him? I don't know. Give me a guess. How did you, know, you find him in the first place? Oh, you know what? Actually, a Beaver Dam teammate sent me his profile. Okay, so this was when? <sighs> months ago, months ago. Okay, and the first two months ago. The first time you ran into him in public was when? Uh, two weeks ago, <laughs> two and a half weeks ago. <laughs> no. okay. Longer than that. Three weeks ago. Sure. A month Three, ago. A month ago. A month ago. Sure. Okay. Sure. About so you ran into him ago. where first? Um, at the gym. Okay, and you didn't know he goes to your gym. No, I knew he went to my gym. Do you know what time he went to your gym? Now prior to seeing him. No, but now okay, I do. Okay, so you had just happened to be there at the same time as him. <laughs> yes. Okay. But now I know what time I need to go to the gym so we can run into each so other. So you ran into him at the gym. Yes. Then you uh, saw him at the Bucks game when? Uh, that night. Oh, it was the same day. You saw him twice. That same night. And he didn't put it together? No, he might have. I thought he was looking over at me. Why are we ticking? Well, because this is the intro to the 60 minute segment that we're going to get this <laughs> Sunday about my and Maddie's relationship with this guy. Okay, but what if it all works out? So, what if okay, hold on, hold on. We're not well, done you, yet. We're not done yet. We're not I have done a question. Okay. So you, you run into him twice in the same day. Right, fate. You, you said this about Hashtag a month ago? Fate. This is a month ago? Yes. Have you seen him since in person? In person? Yes. No. Have you driven past his apartment since this happened? Yes. How recently was that? We don't have to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> Three <yeah>. days ago. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. <laughs> I, think, I think it was yesterday. Okay, Maddie, I just want to... I, I, this, this, okay. I just want you to understand what you're doing currently. You, what? You, you, you are not just talking to your friends. Yeah. We are being broadcasted. Worldwide. <laughs> They're basically your friends. I think, yeah. <laughs> These are all my friends. My Madison friends. What are, what are you looking at? Wait, it's so here's my question. Here's my question. Let's say you two did end up dating, working out, whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Would you ever tell him that you were, like, stalking him? Oh, 100%. Because by that time, he's so obsessed with me. <laughs> it's just like, isn't that funny? <laughs> she actually wanted me first. Huh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, can I just give you a suggestion? Stop. Stop what? All of it. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's what? whatever. You Matt, know, it's it's just like we're like bored. <laughs> it's just I said like, it's, it's we're in the depths of winter right now. It is yeah, thirty five degrees out still. Like, and it's nice to have hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> you and I should compare Stop. notes after the show. <laughs> we can work together. We'll go pole All dancing. Right. The difference is, go. Maddie wants Here to date go. him. You want him. Hey, 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 hey. hey. stop that. <laughs> we'll go pole dancing Slay next. Slay king. We're, we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have a we're gonna have an intervention off the air. <laughs> we'll go pole dancing next. Here's Jim Rutledge telling you about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton. It's Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light. I can't think of a better way to spend a day watching some basketball at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton. I know it's not your traditional sports bar, but imagine having yourself an old-fashioned or a Coors Light at the sizzle, swizzle, and swirl happy hour around the horseshoe bar talking to the bartender Kevin. Lee comes on over, and you all talk about how your bracket is busted. Whatever the occasion, whether it's formal or informal, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton is the spot to be. This is Rutledge and Hamilton with Jim Rutledge and two-time 2024 National Curling Champion, Matt Hamilton on 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like the Nitty Gritty in Middleton, the Village Green, Riley Tavern, and Remington's Tavern. 
Madison athletes seeking elite training need to get started today at Total Athlete Performance. TAP is here to serve and educate the serious athlete with their speed, agility, and semi-private training options. Sessions are now available in both Windsor and their TAP facility inside the Verona Athletic Center. Also access remote training anytime, anywhere with the Total Athlete Performance app. Visit TAPWisconsin.com for subscriptions, including monthly payment options. That's TAPWisconsin.com. I've been here for about three years. Been a team lead since three months. I love the company. It's a fun place to work. It always keeps you busy every single day. Right off the bat, I told them I wanted a career here. Sure enough, after three months, I got promoted. You just gotta make sure that you have the ambition to get there. I can one day see my kid and say, hey look, I built that trailer. My name is Gabriel, and I am incredibly proud to be part of Stoughton Trailers. Stoughton Trailers, big trailers, big opportunity. Mark your calendars and get ready for game day at the 5th Annual Easter Seals Wisconsin Celebrity Basketball Experience, presented by Affiliated Dentists. Former UW athletes hit the hardwood on April 13th at Madison College to support children and adults with disabilities. Tip-off is at 3 p.m. And for some pregame action, be sure to register your kids grades 3 through 8 at the Shot Doctor Skills Academy from 1 to 2.30 with former UW men's basketball assistant coach Gary Close. All abilities welcome to register. Visit easterseals.com slash game day for more details. The biggest names in the basketball world. Dame Dollar Lillard. Having fun in honest conversations. He puts it in the shoe, right? And sets the tone for brothers and sisters and family. Every week, Thanasis Adetokounmpo sits down with special guests on Thanalysis Show. Thanasis. Find Thanalysis Show on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. And on YouTube by searching Thanalysis Show. Big trailers and big opportunity. Since 1962, Stoughton Trailers has been a family-owned and operated business. With competitive wages and excellent benefits, plus growth and advancement opportunities, Stoughton Trailers is an exciting place to grow your career. Join the collaboration, innovation, and dynamic team atmosphere at Stoughton Trailers. With positions now open in production, operations, finance, sales, engineering, supply chain, and more. Go to stojobs.com to apply today. Stoughton Trailers. Big trailers. Big opportunity. From the biggest plays on the court to the comments made in the locker room after an in-depth recap of every Bucks game in six minutes. No more, no less. Bucks in six provides game recaps for every game. Hear the high-flying dunks from Giannis. Puts it on the floor, spins down the lane, and plunges it through. Or the deep threes from Dane. Dane time has arrived with 107. Bucks in six on the Bucks Plus Audio Network. Find it now on bucks.com slash plus or on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton on 100.5 ESPN. Brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light Rolls on at 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, the ESPN Madison YouTube channel. She's Molly Branham, Alex Strofe in for the fellas. Primetime, Wilder Sean running the show per usual. It's going to be a good weekend. I said that earlier. I feel good about this weekend. Molly, you and you the same same. Yeah, I wish I, I wish it was a little bit warmer. I was honestly planning on going up to like Door County or something. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be like 30 something degrees. Yeah, it's going to be cold. It's going to be <sighs> cold, but. Uh, holiday this weekend, uh, I think yep. people uh, people are going to be excited about that. And uh, let's it'll, go, it'll be great. Let's go, Ryan. It's a good time of the year when you're oh, just yeah. like, you going you going home this weekend, Ryan? Most likely, yeah, nice. I think so. What do you I'm got? gonna get I'm gonna get brunch for some friends in Milwaukee tomorrow morning, though. Nice, nice. Yeah. Want to invite me? Well, I said friends. <laughs> you're oh, you're be the guy I shop with. <laughs> let's go pole dancing. You answered. What? Coming to the stage, it's pole dancing on Rutledge and Hamilton. Hey now. Presented by Metro Kia of Madison, Madison's trusted Kia dealership. Metro Kia of Madison Oi. Yeah, guys, it is a fish Friday here on Rutledge and Hamilton, and that means we go pole dancing because this show hasn't been dirty enough yet the past two days. But Watch it. in pole dancing, we go around the poles from ESP Wisconsin this week. We review the results, we give our opinions give our thoughts and this morning actually Jen Gabe and Chewy 
I don't know if they were kind of subtweeting Rutledge and Hamilton with this one, Uh-oh. but they asked, which of these would you rather have or win? A gold medal or a Super Bowl ring? 47% of respondents saying a gold medal, 53% saying a Super Bowl That's ring. Really now, our gold medal is not on the panel today, but I'm curious, guys, what would you rather have? Super well, Bowl ring, gold can, medal? Can I add some context to this? Because I okay. was listening to Jen Game and Chewy this morning. They were asking, would you rather have Brett Favre Super Bowl ring or Jim Craig from Miracle on Ice in the 80s, his gold medal? Oh, so not actually you win a Super Bowl ring, but just like the collector's item? Well, I think it started out it was like, which one would you rather win? But then it eventually evolved to which would you rather have? And I believe that they consulted like, um, what's the guy's name from? Is it Jeff Sports that used to come on? Like, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. they consulted him. And I believe that he said that um, a gold medal from that era sold for three hundred nineteen thousand dollars. So they were like just kind of comparing like the value. But. So I don't know if we want to look at it from that context. That Let's it's go so win. and so's or this or this. They asked in the poll, would you rather okay. have so or win? So which one would you rather win? I'd rather win a Super Bowl. Me too. Yeah? Uh, yeah, just because I, 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 I don't know. I just feel like it's the biggest game in the world every year. But okay, I guess it's for the me. most watched television event every year. Fair, at least in true. the U.S. In right? the U.S., yeah, and, the FIFA World and, Cup. And maybe yeah. I'm naive because I, I'm not from other places. But I, I think I'd rather win a Super Bowl. However, a gold medal is pretty darn sick. Yeah. That means you're the best in the world, right? I would it, say it depends on what is the event you win the gold medal for. Speed walking, Alex Stroh. There yeah, we go. That's too bad they, they discontinued that. But the guy that usually sits in this chair, mm-hmm. Matt Hamilton, obviously won it in curling. That's pretty darn awesome. We saw what it did to his life and his career and, and everything in between, right? I mean, it, it, it made him a, a worldwide novelty with that mustache. Mm-hmm. He was just telling a story the other week. He was in... What country is he in before Switzerland? Scotland. He, Scotland. Scotland. And, he, and he got recognized in Scotland. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, that's pretty wild. I don't know how many Super Bowl champions outside of your quarterback are getting recognized yeah, in Yeah, because what if you're, sure. like, a backup who doesn't actually play right in the game? Where, right. Whereas, like, if you're winning a gold medal, like, you contributed somehow. Well, yeah, I fair. believe also with Matt, too, though, Scotland, is that where you said that curling started? Probably. So I think there's obviously like a huge. Fan That's where golf probably. started. That's where like croquet started. <laughs> All those kind of like you know field sports started Fair. out there. All the ones where you can crack a course light into it. But anyways, Jay gave Chewy also asking two days ago. Uh, Chewy says Matt Lafleur has to win a Super Bowl in the next three seasons with the Green Bay Packers. Do you agree or disagree? Eighty percent of respondents saying yes. Needs to win a Super Bowl in the next three seasons. Twenty percent saying no. Give him more time. Strofe, starting with you. Matt LaFleur need to win a Super Bowl in the next three seasons? Needs to? Needs to. Whew. I, I will say no, but he needs to get to an NFC Championship game and maybe even needs mm. to get to a Super Bowl. I, I don't know that he necessarily needs to win one, but I think getting there, I mean, it's something that's eluded him in his tenure. He's gotten close several times. But the window is as open as it's going to be, I think, for a minute. With everybody under contract for the next couple of years, including Jordan Love, who's going to get paid this offseason, I would guess they'll get close, including this year, each of the next three years. They're going to be one of the powerhouses in the NFC the next three years, assuming health of Jordan Love. I don't think he needs to win one, but I think this might be his best chance in his tenure as the Packers head coach, not in the Jordan Love era the next three years. Probably will be. But I will say no. That's a tough question. Okay. Molly? I'll go against you and I'll say yes. Not because I'm in Jim Rutledge's chair or anything, but... <laughs> Here we go. I know you brought it up, the contracts. Like, pressure, all of, think pressure. of how many people are going to be still on, like, their rookie contracts. I feel like at that time, like, that'll be the end of it. That... Yeah. Ah, it's hard to say that he should win a Super Bowl, but he should win a Super Bowl. Which is, like, crazy as a fan, too, to think about that if I'm saying yes, that that's like, holy crap, we're only... Let's, what did you say? Three years away from winning a Super Bowl, potentially? Within three years. Within three years of winning a Super Bowl? That's wild to I w- think. I would think they are, though, right? I mean, they're I think, close. I think they absolutely get to a Super Bowl. Absolutely. And yes, I do. Like, think how close they were this past year. I know that things can change, but think how close they were to getting to a Super Bowl this year. Like, they should have been in the NFC Championship game, and therefore they would have played the Detroit Lions in Detroit. I think that would have been a really hard matchup, but they were literally one game away from a Super Bowl. And yeah. we weren't. We had zero expectations of them this season. So I would say yes. All right, all right. Expectations only going to get higher. But 
Kyle Bruss and Norman asking earlier this week and got a little heated during crosstalk about this topic. But Here as a go. Badgers fan with Wisconsin now out of the NCAA tournament, are you now rooting for Marquette? Fifty-one percent of respondents replying yes, but silently. Forty-nine percent responding no. Hope they lose by one hundred. Molly, start with you. I'm surprised how close this poll was. Really? They are in Milwaukee. Because I, 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 I get that, but I'm still just like, if you're in the state of Wisconsin, you should be cheering for the Wisconsin teams. Just like I feel like if you are a fan, whatever fan of whatever conference you are, you should always be cheering for your conference, even if you hate the other schools. Like, we should all be cheering for Purdue, Illinois, and Marquette. We absolutely should be cheering for Marquette solely because they are from Wisconsin. You should want them to represent Wisconsin well. I mean, if you're a Chris Orr, Texas A&M fan growing up, would you ever root for the Longhorns? I don't know that that's apples to apples. Hey, maybe maybe not, but just because uh, they're from like the state. Like Arizona, right? Like, I live okay. there. If Arizona State was in the tournament, RIP to the Wildcats last night. But mm-hmm. I, I'm, more, I'm more of a U of A fan than I am ASU. ASU sucked. Still do. But I would be cheering for ASU because they are from Arizona. So yes. it's, 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 I feel like it's different for me than you two. You're both alum of UW-Madison. I, I didn't pick Matt like UW to go past James. Madison. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, I mean it from a perspective of you guys were actually involved in the rivalry as fans. Okay. I didn't attend UW Madison or Marquette, so I've just kind of always rooted for the both of them. It's just kind of all, I've, I'm, I'm a Badgers fan more, but go I've, Wisconsin, I've, right? I've rooted for both kind of always. I've, this is how I've always done it. I don't know if it's different, but hearing Brian D, which is what this poll was based off of, he said he doesn't want. Badgers fans to support it. Bruss playing for the Badgers doesn't want to support Marquette. I don't really have a... I mean, I probably... When they play once a year, I cheer for the Badgers. You don't have a dog in the fight. But over the other 364 days of the year, no, I don't really view it as that big of a rivalry. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fun in-state tradition more so than a rivalry. So I'm for this, and I'm not silently cheering for Marquette. I'm openly cheering for Marquette. If there's one team in the tournament left that I want to win it all, it's Marquette. You were... I Go feel ahead. like out of the three of us, Ryan, you are probably the biggest Badger fan all around. Where do you land in I think this? That's fair. I personally, my feeling towards Marquette has always been I don't really care about them. Okay. I'm being honest. Like, they don't have a football team, so it makes the rivalry tough to be a real rivalry. Totally yeah. agree. But mm-hmm. when it comes to basketball, like, I feel I'm glad that they're doing well. Like, it's cool to see. They're like an ex. So yeah, you don't maybe. Hate yeah, them. maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. Okay, that's a very good comparison. Um,. It's nice that they're like having their moment, but overall, like I do want to see Wisconsin do better than Marquette over the long term. And I'm a big DJ Burns fan, so let's go the regular. Let's go NC State Wolf Pack, Pack of Badgers, right? Wolf Pack, <laughs> Pack of Badgers. All right, last the question. Big MF for DJ Burns. Gosh, staying right there, Strofe. But last one, I'll ask you guys. Three days ago, Jane, Gabe, and Chewy they asked, "How many people can you truly trust?" 13% of people, 13% of respondents said zero people. 81% of respondents said less than 10 people. Yeah. 6% said more than 10 people. Strofe, you're going in the middle there? Yeah, less but I wish, I wish they were more specific mm-hmm. than less bit, yeah. than 10, right? Yeah. Uh, my answer is less than 10. My answer might even be less than 5. You think it's on uh, fingers? Right? I think I think one hand I can probably count the people I trust, yeah. Okay. Maybe I have trust issues Your also. toes, too. Count them on your toes. You could. There was five. See I what I mean? This guy loves talking about feet. <laughs> yeah, he, he brought up I didn't talk about feet. Today. I talked about toes. He loves talking about toes. on the feet. Talking but about fingers or talking about hands. Tomatoes. 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 not. Rectangle uh, squares. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Haskins Hoskins. <laughs> Great ball. You know what? <laughs> Great ball. Ball is making good points. Yeah, she's, got, she's on to something now. <laughs> she really is. Uh, yeah, I'm probably, I would, I would say five or six people is all I trust. Maybe a little, but I'm less than ten. Molly, how about you? I'm in the same boat. Five or less. That's Five my or vote. Less. Yep. What about you? Truly, like that's that's what I'm kind of hung up on is like truly trust. That's yeah. that's I'm assuming I I can trust them with a secret. I life can trust them with a task. Yes. I, life can, or I death. can rely on them for anything. Yep. I mean, can trust? I would say, I think you can trust closer to ten. I would say like wow. eight, eight or nine. Like honestly, you can trust that many. I think average for the majority of people. Well, I'm asking about you per- specifically. How many people do I truly yeah. trust? Yeah. I mean, right now in life, probably like four. So, yeah. yeah, no, that's fair. But I think can trust. You can trust closer to ten. You can trust a million if you want to, Ryan. No, but I'm saying you can trust. Like you could rely on that many people and have them come through for you, if you have the right people around you. 
Oh, that was Aww. adorable. Poetic. Poetic. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Ryan Rollershine. We'll wrap up the week coming up after this. But first, Jim Rutledge on Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison here on Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. Go be a winner at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Is there a better time than being a winner during the holidays? Over $100 million in jackpots so far this year. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison is on pace for a record year. Be a part of it. Go be a winner. They have a record year coming up here with jackpots given out. So go get one of them. Go be a winner. Go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. You're listening to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light. The mountains are blue, and we can prove it. Follow the show on Twitter at Jim and Matt. The GRB Rays have established themselves as one of the top baseball programs in the Midwest and the country. GRB Academy offers training programs for players of all ages and skill levels. Learn from some of the best baseball coaches in the area and find the program that fits your training goals and your schedule. Spots are filling up fast, so visit grbacademy.com to sign up now. That's grbacademy.com. GRB Academy, baseball for the serious player. Your Honda gets you everywhere. When it needs service, you need Zimbrick Honda service. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it yourself at two convenient Madison locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Honda certified technicians handle it all. You can even get flexible payment options. Fix your car now and pay later. Apply online to see your options in seconds with no hard credit check. Make your service appointment online at ZimbrickHonda.com. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Get your team together. Softball is back for 2024. Jesse Nelson here. Registration for Madison School and Community Recreation's Adult Summer Softball Leagues is now open. Men's, women's, and all-gender slow pitch and women's fast pitch leagues are forming now for the summer season. MSCR Softball Leagues offer fun for every level of player and welcome all participants. Spend your summer evenings with us on the diamond. For more information and to register, go to mscrsportsleagues.org. That's mscrsportsleagues.org. Step into nostalgia with the Miller High Life Dive Bar of the Week. Listen to Rutledge and Hamilton every Thursday, and we will let you know where you can enjoy $2 Miller High Lifes. To celebrate our love for dive bars, me and Matt are going to tell you about some of our favorites, featuring one extra special dive bar that will have $2 High Lifes on special for the week. Taste the champagne of beer in its natural environment. A delightfully different dive bar in Wisconsin, like the Nitty Gritty in Middleton, the Village Green, Riley Tavern, and Remington's Tavern. Life's better with American Family Insurance because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit Amfem.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Welcome back to Rutledge and Hamilton, presented by Coors Light on 100.5 ESPN. Also brought to you by J&K Security Solutions. They dance above me as I sing. I see them through a crystal haze. Round, the never-ending coral maze. The crystal haze. Well, fist Friday on your Friday. 5.54 p.m. Rutledge and Hamilton presented by Coors Light. She's Molly Brown. I'm Alex Strofe with you. Prime time running the show. J&K Security Solutions is a locally owned family-run business that has been a part of the Madison community for nearly 40 years. Jeff and the whole team at J&K care about making sure your home or business is safe and secure with services ranging from commercial fire detection to commercial security and surveillance. They are dedicated to keeping your business safe. Home services include security and home automation services using Control 4. Keep your home and business up to date with our friends at J&K Security Solutions. Marquette NC State in the Sweet 16 tonight. Molly, you watching or are you uh, focusing on date night? I'll try to watch. Try to watch. What time? Such an odd tip time. 6.09? Who, do, who picks these times? Uh, well, you, it's technically six, but that, that means it builds in, like, announcing the starting lineups, the national anthem. But you're right. It is 6.09 is an atrocious time. Why not 6.10? Yeah, 6.10 would make more sense. I like that number. And six, yep, that's six fine. 6.39 for Gonzaga, Purdue, 8.39 for Duke, Houston, and 9.09 for Creighton, Tennessee tonight. So, so, so do you think the game will actually tip off at 6.09, or is it going to be like, okay, it says 6.09, but it's actually going to do 6.10? Yeah. Uh, what's the point? 
I mean, that's a fair point. I, I don't know. I, I do not know. Uh, NC State Marquette in Dallas at American Airlines Arena. Duke Houston will follow that one up. The winners of those two games will play Sunday in the Elite Eight. And then in Detroit, it's Gonzaga-Purdue. Purdue, one of two Big Ten teams remaining after Illinois' win last night. Dude, they're good, the, the, the fighting Illini. They're making a run. Big win Shout last night over Iowa State. Yeah, Marcus Damask, Wapon, native. Or, yep, yep. Well, Wisconsin, sure. I was going to say Wapon, and then I said he Wisconsin. He was Mr. Basketball, was... though. Back in 2019, yeah. Marcus Damask mm-hmm. was, and he beat last year's Mr. Basketball, Milan Mamchilovic from Iowa State uh, last night. So it was a battle of two former Mr. Basketballs in the state. Ryan, I knew you were excited about that, that, that two Mr. Basketballs going toe-to-toe in the Of course. 16. So of are course. we cheering for the Fighting Illini? We are, right? No. I am. I'm not. What? No, I'm, I'm really not either. I... I think they're really fun to watch, though. Cheer but... for your conference, people! I'm just not rooting for Terrence Shane Problematic. Jr. Yeah, problematic. I don't want okay, him to yeah, win. Okay, yeah, he sucks. He can... Bugger He's off. a good basketball player. But. Yeah, but he sucks. Yeah, he was very Allegedly. good. He was incredible in the game last he, night. He was great. There's he was no was. denying that. Yeah, he was he was very good in that game last night. So I'm intrigued to see how Marquette does here, tipping off in about 15 minutes against 11 seeded NC State. NC State, the lowest uh, seed remaining, the only double digit seed remaining, obviously in the NCAA tournament. And they've got my boy, the regulator, the regulator, future Packers left tackle DJ Burns Jr., who I refer to <laughs> First, as the big MF. Yeah. <laughs> First round pick? You think Goody would go for him? No, he's he's an undrafted FA. Uh, flyer. Just like Yash Nyman. Yash Nyman exactly. undrafted. He was great swing tackle yeah. for a few years there. Yeah, but DJ Burns is going to come in and he's going to be the regulator on the left side of Jordan Love. <laughs> he's going like, to be the next box yard. I'm telling you what, dude. That'd be wild. I would, uh, but the thing is with tackles, I talked about this with somebody off the air. I think it was Jason Wilde I was talking to. and uh, No, it wasn't Jason. It was Gabe. It was Gabe Neitzel. And we were talking about DJ Burns. And he pretty much just said, yeah. Quick feet, like it translates to the next level. Like they're literally just athletic. Yeah. Imagine being that athletic that you could be playing D1 basketball. I wonder if he has a football background. Ballerina. Yeah, we will see. Ballerina? 280 pound ballerina. Jim's back with you Monday with Pablo Iglesias. I think Matt's back Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, or is he out all next week? I thought you said they're off on Tuesday. They're off on Tuesday. That's correct. Is Matt in it all next week? Great question. I don't know. We got three seconds. All right, bye. Peace. Since J&K Security Solutions opened in 1987, our attention to detail